Square as you sing. Throw your hands in the 
Turning water into space bags with 
about U.S. presidents, partly, and this one is about the last one that we had. <laughs> So I dipped this pen in arsenic to write song for every president that will never get shot in the face. I wrap these strings in plastic explosives and head down to the courthouse. One court I level the place. So what hasn't anybody learned? Don't ever trust a man who plays guitar. The day I rob a face, the first day I'm not lying to you or me about what I believe. If I die, then let my gravestone read, rest in P-Funk, cause no pulse is no excuse not to dance. If I live, then let my heart be like a beating picket line, that sooner see a corpse than see a scab. Oh, but hasn't anybody learned the last to make the moves, the first to say the words? The day I rob a bank's the first day of my life as an honest man, an honest man. The day I rob a bank's the first day of my life as an honest man, an honest man. The day I go to jail trying to rob a bank's the day I finally get what I deserve. You made me laugh at the Minecraft wiki comment. <laughs> I just unmuted the mic. Um, so, like, here you go. Um, I did. Uh, a little help with motion array, but I did. Um, and I have the files to prove it. Um, so, um, most of y'all have never, like, you guys hear Pat, but you've never seen Pat. Um, so, I thought what I would do is show you the oh, clip we just listen to like not the whole thing we're not going to play uh the whole song but i want you to see pat this is this is pat this is pat in not a good place he's he's not healthy um so like understand like i've talked about how pat had serious addiction issues um here's pat Hasn't anybody learned the last to make the moves, the first to say the words? The day I rob a bank's the first day of my life as an honest man, an honest man. The day I rob a bank's the first day of my life as an honest man, an honest man. The day I go to jail trying to rob a bank's the day I finally get what I deserve. So there's Pat. He's a lot healthier now. Now, it's the After Dark show. <clears throat> and um, he looks pretty much how I expect him to look, to be honest. Yeah, pretty much. Heroin. He was an alcoholic and a heroin addict. Like, that's, I mean, Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what you get. Um, but night show, I have tea wizard, iced tea, uh, iced tea. Oh, delicious. And I'm going to do this off camera. <laughs> I have new um, tobacco, 100% tobacco. I, I don't smoke anything but tobacco, uh, even though I state unequivocally that I've never smoked tobacco. I'm smoking tobacco. So give me a second. I will join you guys. Uh, and if you haven't already, grab yourselves a fucking drink, grab yourselves a smoke. It's that kind of night. We vibe.
<clears throat> Dude, that, that smoke machine that I have, like, off camera, it's got its own, it got a mind of its own. <clears throat> Tasty. <clears throat> uh, anyway. <sniffs> Trying a mildly new formulation with the tea. Mm. Either way. Um... So, uh, let me close a couple of tabs here. I was sourcing things. Uh, for those of you who were asking and were following the um, <clears throat> conversation, um, oh yeah, he's much healthier now. He's he's much healthier now. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll put it on screen so people can see. Right? Like this is this is Pat now, or a couple of years ago. This is, this is Pat. Like, he, he, he really is. He did the work. But he, um, he isn't, um, he isn't able to go to that space anymore. And I respect it. I deeply respect it. But, you know, I miss him. I miss him. Um, <clears throat> so... For those that were following the uh, conversation that was born of yesterday's stream, um, there will be updates. Uh, there will be updates. Um, so, like, tomorrow will be... Um, um, tomorrow will be the, 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 the continuation. Um, and for those of you... Uh, uh, for those of you that don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, I would encourage you to go listen to uh, Conversations Number Two uh, with Doctor Professor SC. It's live on the YouTube channel, um, and it is most assuredly worth listening to, um, especially given what is coming down the pipeline tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is going to be. Uh, <clears throat> Yes, yes, that good faith conversation on childcare, uh, uh, the, the debating the merits of uh, of early life comprehensive sexual education, um, and so yes, um, yes, um, sources were provided, sources were checked, updates will be had. Um, so yeah, tune in tomorrow for that one. I'm greatly looking forward to doing it. Uh, um, let's see. Hang on. Let me move this back over to where it belongs. There we go. Oh, let me just check really quickly. Let me load my Twitch panel. Uh, yeah, interesting. Mm, no update there. Um, eh, you know, I'll leave that for tomorrow. I'm, I don't want to get into it. Um, but... Let's just say I had a fun day. Um, <clears throat> so, how is everyone? Are you okay? I know Karina's having trouble um, napping, sleeping a little bit. Uh, sauces were had. Yes, sauces were had. That is that is 100% correct. Um, how are the rest of you? Are you taking care of yourselves? Uh... Oh God. Where, wait, where were you, Swede? Um, uh, Non-binary. <clears throat> if I were to characterize the sauces that were provided, I would describe them as tree bark. Um, so not sriracha, not ketchup, more like tree bark. Yeah. I ventured in, oh God, it was a uh, Swede, Swede, Swede doing, doing the Lord's work there. I mean, I mean, maybe the devil's work. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but you have my sympathies. Um, yeah, that's a rough, that's a rough, um, 
a rough crowd I hear these days. Um, yeah. <clears throat> yes. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Um, Swede, would you be opposed to like giving me just a summary and shooting it to me in a DM? I don't want to air dirty laundry on the air, but if you could just give me a quick, like, this is like just the, the it's just some key points. That'd be great. I'd love to keep up with that sort of thing. Or tell me to fuck off. I don't care. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I mean, we we have some stuff we could probably talk about. And, you know, like we actually have some good news uh, out of Alaska. So Cricks can take a fucking lap. Uh, yeah, no, non-binary like pine tree bark. But yeah, yeah. Or, you know, like, I don't know. <clears throat> would I kiss Jesus on the mouth? Hundred percent, yeah. Hundred percent. I would make the. F I would make out like a motherfucker with the Lord and Savior. Yes, that that is a hundred percent guaranteed. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, fucking um. Alaska, the Alaskan uh, state supreme court found gerrymandering to be unconstitutional they did the supreme court ruled against <clears throat> gerrymandering so like straight up like uh, gerrymandering is foreboden in alaska i don't know how they're going to rectify any potential maps or what formulas or methodologies they use to draw their districting maps um but Alaska's Supreme Court said no to gerrymandering. So, like, take a fucking lap. Um, yeah. Mm. Oh, and new thing. I took the thing off the screen. I can't. I can't, guys. Having that fucking thing on the screen, that stupid sub reminder, is killing me. <clears throat> It just, it's, it's going to be every 10 minutes in chat. I replaced the, um, the fucking PSA. Kai can't give everybody a tip full attention all the time. Don't be a fucking tool about it message. Um, with the, the, the sub message. I, I, I couldn't, that thing was pissing me off just by being there. I, I, ugh, God, it disgusted me. It looked like it, it, it to me, it looks like asking for like it, it just, it had to go. It had to go. Um, yeah. And aesthetically, oh my God, it was hideous. Oh my God, it was hideous. It had to go. Um, so yeah, I, I just, I did that today. I was like, no, that motherfucker's gone. <laughs> um, Alaska is prime anarchist real estate. They just don't know it yet. Yeah, I know. Right. Uh, especially with that climate change, <laughs> shit's going to get a little warm. Dude, is everybody see the fucking 70 degrees, uh, uh 70 degrees above normal. Uh, in Antarctica? What the fuck? Nah, it's, 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 it's good guys. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Climate change is not a thing. We don't have anything to worry about. It was fucking 70 degrees above normal in an, an Antarctican heat wave. Like, I, I mean, it was, look, it was still cold for most of us. It's a hundred, it was 113 degrees Fahrenheit for, <clears throat> For those that speak uh, speak European, uh, minus ele uh, eleven point five Celsius, but it's fucking Antarctica, right? Like it's supposed to be like minus eighty five, or you know m uh, minus sixty, right? Like it's it's these are these are insane numbers. <laughs> like this is like not, yeah, yeah. It was. I mean, it fucking dude. Antarctica is going to be habitable. That might happen in our lifetimes, like straight up habitable like that. Dude, that if we're not, we're not taking our foot off the brake. You know that, right? Like that's not happening. Um, so <laughs> I don't know how, how can we divvy that up? How is that divvied up? I've seen the map before. Oh, what's up, Gemma? Um, 
Yeah, that's that's not a temperature anomaly. That's a whole fucking temperature alphabet anomaly. Yeah, straight up Gemma. Dude, that was fucking 70 above normal. What the fuck? <laughs> Do we gonna... <laughs> yeah. Um, hold on. I've seen um Sweet salty Christ, I need coffee. Okay, here's the map. I've seen the map. Um Wait, no, that's not the map I want. Hang on, hang on. Okay, so those are the initial claims. I don't care about the history. Just tell me the, the current status. Um, okay, so the 1959 Antarctica Treaty is what governs this. Um... Blah, blah, blah. Cold War implications. Don't care. So stipulations. No military presence, no mining, and no nuclear explosion. It is to be left to scientific researchers and nature with a goal for minimal human-derived negative impacts. Because Antarctica is by treaty with, I mean, everybody that matters, basically, um, including us, um, and fucking, like, Oh, it may not include Russia, actually, because it was the USSR. It was the Soviet Union that signed on this. 1959? That wouldn't have been the Russian Federation. The Russian Federation is not party to the Antarctica Treaty, as far as I can tell, guys. Just FYI, you might want to keep an eye on that. Um, <clears throat> so, um, but it is strictly scientifically purposed, forbidden for, re for re uh, from researchers to leave any evidence of having been there. All garbage and waste of any kind generated has to be brought back out of Antarctica. Okay, so, like, yeah, straight up, like, it, we'd have to revise the treaty or somebody's just going to have to break it. Which, I mean, we have no problem breaking treaties. We've done it before. So, Walrus. Um, nice. Oh, God, the 3070. I'm, I'm, dude, Gemma, I've been dealing with fucking encoder issues. I'm jealous of the 3070. I don't fucking know what's going on with OBS and my encoder. I'm a dedicated encoder chip and shit, and it still spikes. Like, it drops and then spikes, but never above, like, 43%. But OBS freaks out and drops frames. It's been pissing me off. Uh... Oh, uh, see, sweet, I've been saying that. That, like, they accelerated their demographical collapse... Um, and that they're going to go the way of Japan. Now nah, I've been saying that like, like dude, that that's the fucking, they fucked up. Dude, this is hilarious. Russia's hilarious. It's, I mean, this whole fucking war is hilarious. Uh, you know, you know, officially Ukraine has more tanks than they started with, right? That's, that's, that's hilarious. When you invade a country and somebody comes along partway through the war and goes, Do you have more tanks than you started with? That's funny. Like, that's legit funny. Uh, it just is. This entire Russian conflict. Step back. Look, have a have a moment of comedic sensibility. And fucking, yeah, and Russia just resupplied Ukraine. Like, have a moment of humorous sensibility about it, right? Like, this is the late show. This is PR after dark for the newbies and shit like that. Take a drink. Get a smoke of fucking whatever. Right? Chill and vibe. That's objectively funny. That's a fucking skit. A comedian ended up president of a country that got invaded by Russia. And it turns out he's fucking laying the smack down on the Russian army the whole way through to the tune of they got more gear than they started with. Are you kidding me? Like the whole thing is essentially written by like Second City. It's a, it's a, it's sketch comedy at this point. It's fucking stupid. Um. Yeah. Ooh, free tanks. Fucking. F <laughs> uh, Russia is killing more of their own consumer and brain power than they can afford to lose, even in the short term, Swede. Yeah. Um. Like, I mean, the ones that they're not killing, they're fucking like literally, they're just fleeing the country. The brain drain on Russia already is just stupid. It's stupid. Their economies fuck, uh, fucked. Okay, so for those of you guys that haven't heard this discussion before, but fundamentally, 
the Russian Federation, the USSR did a bunch of stuff really well. Look, I mean, anarchist, right? But the USSR did a bunch of stuff really well. They they built shit. They like infrastructure stuff, right? Sometimes they were really shit at maintaining it, but they were really good at knocking those fucking big projects out and shit like that. And they had this entire system of like apprenticeship and journeyman um, trade trade program. And it was really effective. It taught a lot of people a lot of shit and it got stuff built. Like there's no way around that. When the USSR went the way of the dinosaur, the Russian Federation like basically got rid of all that. Um, and then they started like fiddling with the pensions and forcing people to retire early and all sorts of stuff. And they're already having like a birth rate issue anyway. So when you start talking about these like, um, intersectional or multivariable, uh, demographical conversations, you start stacking effects, right? And so like Russia really did find itself in a position just like a couple years ago, like just recently before they fucked up like this, right? before they fucked up this bad, um, of being headed towards a demographical collapse. They are these multifaceted variables that were working against them internally and externally. And literally, Putin has done the exact like checklist of shit you should do if you wanted to accelerate that collapse. Like, where are the conspiracy theorists on this one? Why haven't I heard a good conspiracy theory a theory about this? That Russia, or that like Putin is some inside man for the Illuminati who's per intentionally collapsing the Russian Federation because it was the only like combatant that could survive against the U.S. And so the oligarchs, the globalists or something like, why is not this a conspiracy theory I've come across already? Because this is hilarious. The all, like the checklist of shit you would do to worsen and accelerate Russia's collapse is all the shit Putin just did. Yeah, Putin is a CIA uh, a psyop. Like he's a long-term plan. Where is this conspiracy theory? This shit, they should have been on this shit. I should have heard about this one already. Why am I coming up with this shit? I'm doing QAnon's work for them already. See, <sighs> fucking somebody owes me money. I feel like I should be paid for this one. If that becomes a conspiracy theory, like somebody make a mental note. That's mine. I put that out as a fucking joke. And then some idiot ran with it, right? If that happens, somebody let me know. <clears throat> Alex, because the conspiracy theorists, uh, theorists are too busy focusing on being queerphobic and anti-Semitic. Well, I, I spun it. You could get the Jews in it, right? You can, you can easily get the Jews in that one. That's, that's fucking globalists. Fucking, yeah. Israel's puppeting America and you can you can weave in some of those existing ones they already have. Uh NATO going to take over Russia and encircle China exactly. Exactly Carpe. Like yeah, like it, to, to, where are they on this one? I feel I feel like I was I feel like I was let down by the conspiracy theorists on this one. They usually come up with some hilariously wacky conspiracies. I always enjoy laughing at them. Um and I feel like they let me down. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Putin was put into power by Abramovich. So there you go. Uh, fucking Swede, 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 Swede. On top of all that, the Bar uh, Barbarossa generational hole is coming up again soon, which will exacerbate the problem. Oh, I just, I mean, that tea is amazing. I'm just telling you that. Um, so, <clears throat> oh. Has is currently cooking up some new ones. I know, right? Um, yeah, fucking dude, hats. Fucking, I feel sorry for that dude. Dude, he's fucking. I hope. I hope. Like, I hope. For, like, the best thing that could happen for him is that he actually is some like psyop grifter, and then he'd just be, he'd be okay. Because otherwise, Has is having a rough time. That motherfucker's like mid psychotic break. It's not. It's not going well. Like he's saying some crazy ass shit these days. <laughs> and he's like, like I said, he's meeting people in the we in weird alleyways in the middle of the night to fight, fist fight them over Twitter beefs. And he's fucking going on Twitter and saying all the crazy shit he says. And it just gets crazier and crazier. He's basically a flat earther at this point. You're like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, I worry about that, dude. 
Uh, he no, no, yeah, he literally went to that alleyway. Like he ch- fucking some dude challenged him to a fist fight. You're a, he like and said like you're a punk bitch. You're not gonna come and fucking has like lost his shit on Twitter and then. Yeah, there's photos like has went to some weird alleyway or some like location on some like sketchy street in the middle of the goddamn night to fight someone over a Twitter beef. Like that's not stable. That's not that's not the behavior of a stable human being. Like that's some shit. He's going through some shit. I worry about the dude. I mean, I know he'd put me on the wall and all, but I'm still a fucking anarchist. Like, you know, at the end of the day, I, you know, like the motherfucker comes around wrong. Like, okay, we're going to have to deal with that problem when we deal with it. But like, you know, he's a human. I don't want to see him like, dude, has, has would like, he ended up on the news or some shit, right? Like that's not, no, none of us want that attention, by the way. We do not need a Twitch political streamer to make the news over some crazy shit that has might get up to that's it. none of us need that attention you know that right like that's that's some shit like mm. yeah it's in our own best interest too if he not do this kind of crazy shit <laughs> oh fucking alex yeah abramovich and the ukrainian um uh peace delegates all, all uh, reportedly got poisoned um, they all reportedly got poisoned. I, I, I mean, we have the, it's, it's, I mean, there's no way for us to verify that data. That's, that's beyond the realm of our capacity. Um, but that is what was reported. The, the Abramovich and fucking the, the Ukrainian delegation all got poisoned. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Be so listen, I'm pull a 4chan. We don't need that shit. Um, fucking. <laughs> Um. Uh, wait, what's up, honey? Uh, fucking honey vinegar. Uh, hello. How do you respond to the status of the quote-unquote economy? <laughs> and then, and then does air quotes around economy, quote-unquote economy. Uh, <laughs> oh, um, fucking thanks for the follow, Big Max. Uh, for two, this this uh, the the notor- 4chan is a notorious hacker, from what I understand. Yes, He's a, a, a feared notorious hacker online. Yeah, um, I think I saw a local news segment about it one time. Ah, uh, what was that? Upset Walrus said, "How about uh, Russia pulling forces back recently? Possibly some sort of large nuclear chemical attack." By the way, just speculation. Who's 100 percent a sore loser? Wouldn't put it past him. Yeah, straight up, he would. Um. I don't know. Like, I mean, at this point, it's it's all kind of up in the air, right? Like, he's been swapping people, right? Like, he's who knows? He's making dictator moves. I mean, he's he does that shit, and so like, yeah, who knows? Who knows what kind of weird fucking secret operation project program shit he's got lined up just in case? Like, you don't know. That motherfucker been in power of, like, Russia for a while, right? You know that, right? Like, he's got, like, you gotta have, like, backup, 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 backup plans and shit like that, right? You're a fucking dictator. Put the work in, right? Every dictator knows there's rules. You better, you know, keep some crazy shit in the closet just in case. So, I wouldn't put it past him. Carpe said, uh, like Saddam setting off the oil well fires because he was losing. Yeah, who the fuck knows? Just <laughs> fuck you all. Uh, Putin's ba- banking uh, again, Trump back in power in 2024. I saw that headline. I saw that fucking headline. Um, that like some fucking who was it? Some Russian, uh, like parliament member or some shit. Um, went on Russian state TV and said, we need to, um, we need a regime change in the U S we need our partner Trump back. They called him their partner. Yeah. That was that We need our partner Trump back in 2024. Yeah. I was like, uh, that, that like that, <laughs> you know, I mean, homie, they straight up said he's their partner. <laughs> Sit up and take notice shit like that. All right? 
Was that Maya Angelou? When somebody t- shows you who uh, who they are, be- oh, when somebody shows you who they are, believe them, right? Like, <laughs> uh, hashtag partner Trump. That's why he banned the gays. Keep something crazy in the closet. It's not binary. That's a, that's delicious. Um, yeah, no, that's. T- t- the whole thing is fucking the whole thing is weird um max um no surprise there the russians love having ties to literally every right-wing group yeah no i mean they dude they infiltrated the nra the fucking nra to the national rifle association is basically beholden to the fucking russians at this point because you know they took some dirty money that's how you get them dude that's how the mob works that's 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 straight up mob tactics, right? You get them to, to accept some dirty money or do a do a job for you, and they're on the hook. What are they gonna do? They're fucking, you know, they took money from the Kremlin or some shit like that to fucking literally do a traitorous activity, and the Kremlin's got them completely documented, right? Like they got every bit of evidence. They've got video of them doing it. They've got like, you know, they've got everything that's how you set someone up the mob used to do it all the time gangs gangs still do it like it's it's a regular fucking method to hook get someone on the hook and force them to do what you need them to do we do it all the fucking time with the cia come on and the feds and the cops do it too with fucking like low-level street dealers and shit like that like come on of course that's what happened (laughs) okay okay i'm at the lophosaurus Believe me. Um, uh, let's see. 2032, the GOP will have 30 to 20, give or take hold in the Senate, says Honey Vinegar. I mean, we'll see. Um, then you take the mob down with charges of tax evasion, says Swede. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck taking these ones down. <clears throat> We have ZPP tape. We uh, we have ZP tape, says Carpe. Dude, it's 2022, right? Like, you know the only fucking thing about that tape that could possibly batter? Nobody gives a shit about a couple of fucking, uh, a couple of fucking sex workers pissing on Trump or, like, pissing in Trump's mouth or some shit. Nobody gives a shit. Everybody knows nobody gives a shit. The only thing that could be on that tape is that those girls are underage. That's it. Nobody gives a shit about anything else. There's no level that could rise. There's no amount of this that could rise to any other level than that. Right? Like those girls were like 12 or something. Forget 15. I know people have always been like 15. Dude, those girls, those chicks were like 12 or some shit. 100%. That's the only thing that that can be. There's nothing else in the world that would matter. Every spin doctor and PR agent in the world would be like, yeah, none of that matters. It's 2022. There's no amount of sexual deviancy or degeneracy that we can't sell to the public. Raping a couple of 12 year olds in a Russian hotel room though, that's probably the end of uh, the end of that one. So yeah, especially given that Russia is gonna make sure everybody has it. Right, that's not some shit that just gets leaked small, right? If if you if you burn that asset that way, dude, you just that shit hits every major news outlet in the world simultaneously. They will burn you. So, like, yeah, it's the only thing that makes sense that could be on that tape. Nobody could give a shit about some fucking sex workers pissing in his mouth. <laughs> that dude's been sketchy from the word go. Every story about Donald Trump dating back all of the years is sketchy as fuck. The dude's weird. He's he's got he's got some shit going on. He's pathological. Uh he, we got a burn notice on you. You're blacklisted, Trump. It's a good show. Burn notice. Um Let's see. Crimson. Yep. hundred percent for Tucson. Even then Carpe, uh, which knowing Trump is highly probable. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, creepy. Um, Crimson Trump could masturbate on stage and no one would care. Yeah, no at all at, at all. Cupcake. Uh, not sure if some people would care even if they're underage. No, no, no. Like sincerely, like there's a chunk of this fucking country that would legitimately excuse it. They'd be like, well, if that's what it takes for our great leader to, it would just be, you. There, it would happen. It would happen. 
it would happen and you know it would happen. There'd be people excusing it and then be the ones that just sort of like try and ignore it. Um, is that the rumor is true? Wait, hang on. Okay, that, that left my screen. Non-binary. Uh, is that rumor is true then? Uh, it might indicate that, um, I'm not a psychologist, Trump has might have an Oedipus complex. Oh, Trump's got mommy issues. Oh yeah, Trump's got mommy issues. He's got mommy and daddy issues. Dude, there's his, his parents fucked him up. His parents fucked him up. Fred was a, a fucking piece of shit. Um, the whole family's kind of, they're just messed up. Um, let's see. Yep, yeah, yeah, Alex, yeah, the settled lawsuits are damning. Um, fucking Trump could shoot a peeing hooker in the middle of Fifth Avenue and not lose a single vote, said Marcus. Mm. Kavas said impeach Biden. I mean, I'm for it. We can do it, but I mean, I'm, as long as we make sure that some like psycho GOP motherfucker doesn't end up in there. Um, fucking. Oh, and by the way, Crimson, thanks for that follow. Um, Killbot, what's up? You guys heard of Halal economy and how it's destroying it? It's just capital and how it influences inflation. Um, I mean, have fu have fun having an economics conversation. Uh, Killbot, if you would like to have an economics conversation, um, that would be hilarious. Um. But, you know, <clears throat> good luck, Swede. Sorry. Um, <laughs> my name is Donald J. Trump, and I used to be a spy. My, di my name is Donald J. Trump. I don't do a good Trump. Sorry. Um, let's see. Carbake. <clears throat> Catholics. <clears throat> yeah, oh no, Crimson. Yeah, Fred Trump was a fucking psycho. Um, every story about Fred Trump is just abusive and coercive and oppressive and criminal. And yeah, dude, Fred Trump was a piece of fucking shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Fred was a fucking Klan member. I'm sorry. He was arrested at a goddamn Klan meeting. Right? Fucking, I'm sorry. You do not like, okay, 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 okay. He may not have been on their mailing list. Like he may not have paid the $15 membership fee for the fucking card that goes in your pocket or some shit. He was arrested at a goddamn Klan meeting. I gotta tell you, I, 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 I gotta say that like the probability of someone who isn't a Klan member being at a Klan meeting is small. It's small, especially back then, right? It is rare that your vice journalist or your your Daryl Davis is going to be there at a Klan rally raid, right? Like it's 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 a very infinitesimally small percentage that at a Klan rally you will be finding that many non-Klan affiliated believers, at least, right? Who's a fucking Klan member? Yeah, Fred was just running the bingo game. Exactly, Carpet. No, he's a fucking clan member. Come on. He he was he was brought up on like federal charges for discriminatory practices in his apartment complexes against oh wait, hold on, let's see. Was he was he against the was he against the Germans? Oh, I'm maybe it was the Swedes he was discriminating in his apartment complexes. Oh, oh, maybe it was the Icelanders. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. What? What's that? It was blacks and various shades of brown. Okay, so Hispanic, Latino, and, you know, a few Indians mixed in. Um, yeah, yeah, it was it was the black and brown folk that, that, that he was not that comfortable having in his buildings. Could, I could, you know, arrested at a Klan meeting had like massive fucking investigations towards his discriminatory practices against people of color. Yeah. Can't, I can't imagine. <laughs> uh, Caboose, you doing okay? You doing okay tonight, Caboose? We think, uh, we think Caboose might be on one. Oh, shit. All right. He's very intoxicated. Yeah, it seems like it. 
Uh, my dad has a story from when he was at, uh, was a kid that Fred brought up uh, bought up some property near Coney Island. Coney Island had to get rid of one of uh, my dad's favorite rides from his childhood because of it, and it pissed off my dad. Said Exel. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, I feel fucking great since Caboose. Oh, Caboose. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that, I mean, come on, come on. Trump's fucking, oh, dude, and AJ. Dude, Alex Jones is gonna, just gonna absolutely, dude, he's, I don't know what he's up to. I don't know what he's up to. I, I keep wavering back and forth every moment. Um, His last words were, fuck you, Fred Trump. Um, dude, that dude's, dude, that dude, didn't, I don't know. Either he's running some like next level grift or he's imploding. I, I don't, I don't know which one it is. Dude, he's been a grifter. Uh, you're having my ties and fun, dude. Jesus, caboose. Um, that dude, that dude's been a grifter for so long. Like Carpe, like that, but like if he legitimately is wanting to go to jail, that's some next level shit, right? Like, if he's planning like that, I mean, credit where credit's due. It, the plan could backfire. But if he's actually planning to go to jail, that's some crazy ass shit he'd be on. I, I just think he's, I, th I my personally, I my gut says I think he just believes it. Like, he's just sort of like, and he thinks he can somehow game this one out. And he had like he's pissing this judge off. This 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 judge he's pissing this judge off. Do you see? You read some of her statements. She's not happy. This is the kind of shit that lands you with bench warrants and contempt of court and shit like that. Even in a civil trial, even in a civil trial, a fucking judge can find you in contempt of court. That's dude. He's I mean, yeah, like he's pissing her off. So, and I mean, hi, my stepdad's a judge, right? Like, or was, he's no longer a sitting judge. Thank God. But stepson of a judge, right? I've, I've seen this shit from behind the scenes. Dude, they're vengeful. They're petty and they're vengeful and they don't give a shit. My stepdad gave this chick three weeks in the Kingman County jail in Arizona for swearing in his court. He warned her once, she swore again, bam, contempt of court. Three weeks in county for that. I'm not kidding you. Welcome to Arizona. <clears throat> Don't get arrested there. That would be my advice. Um. <laughs> oh, caboose. Uh, I see DJ and our anarchist hours start after I'm done streaming. Yeah, kid. Uh, fucking, uh, 1130 PM. It's, you know, it's the late show. It's the after dark. I made a decision like last week, week before, um, Tuesdays and Thursdays need to be like, get a little stone, get a little drunk, do what you got to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Tuesday, Thursdays, we take it, we take it easy, dude. I, some of the shit I ha I cover like, dude, that Megan Rondini story I did, dude, you um, you're now my competition. I don't believe in that. I was just like, like I, I, you can, it'll be completely one-sided. <laughs> like I said, that's like, you'll be out there like sprinting down the field and shit. We'll all just be sitting on the sideline, having a drink going, what's he doing? He thinks he's competing against me, but I'm sitting over here on the bench with y'all. So I don't know what's going on. Nah, I don't believe in that shit. But if you ever want to collab, what are you about, kid not kin? Like, happy to fucking, happy to have a conversation on air. Happy to get to know you. Happy to work together if you're not, like, psychotic. Even if you are a little psychotic, I'm cool with it. Yeah, Carpe is West Coast. Bunch of us are West Coast. Bunch of us are West Coast. Um, <laughs> Ritz, Ritz and melted cheese, Caboose, Ritz and melted cheese. Um, oh God, post-structuralism. Oh, <laughs> the post-structuralists. Oh, 
Don't go too far down that rabbit hole. <laughs> don't go down too. Don't go too far down that rabbit hole. It gets weird. It gets weird. That post structuralism starts to get really weird on you really quick. Don't sign on to any letters. If like a bunch of, um, if a bunch of people want to, uh, want, want like have a letter that they they, they want you to sign, don't sign the letter. <laughs> Never goes well for post-structuralists. Um, oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, Karina. Yeah, that, that was... I don't know what happened there. <laughs> sussy post-structural, sussy. Um, yeah, that that's always... I like to poke poke at the post-structuralists a little bit with that one. Oh, Foucault, Foucault. What are, what were you thinking, man? Um, he's a buddy. I vouch, says Alex. Um, so, like, are you, like, West Coast USA or, like, are you, I mean, buddy? If you're Alex's buddy, what part of the aisles are you from? Um... Portland. Okay, so you're up in Portland. Yeah. All right. So that was that's what triggered fucking Kaiser. I saw the PNW gang. Is it post structuralism? JB uh, Jordan B. Peterson's favorite thing. T says says Swede. Um. <laughs> okay, uh, Karina, are you sober too? <laughs> I mean. You both, Karina, and you, you and Caboose got getting a little weird tonight. Uh, um, oh, uh, let's see. Oh, wait, is, is fucking, oh, Killbot. Fucking Killbot's doing a thing, huh? Uh, is this a philosophical dare program, says Marcus? <laughs> All I'm saying is if you keep, you follow that post-structuralism too far, you end up arguing for the elimination of the age of consent, and it's never a good look for anyone. <laughs> so just <laughs> temper that shit with something else. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> All right, Killbot. If someone gets locked up, will state pay for your well-being if they come in with some medical problems? Or is it a lie since every prison, there's a time every day where prisoners are not allowed out of their cell, even if they're dying? I, I, don't, I don't what you're actually asking, Killbot, frankly. If someone gets locked up, will the state pay for your well-being if they come in with some medical problem? Theoretically, yes. In actuality... Our prison system is uh, horribly corrupt and poorly run, like so many things in this country. Um, so there's plenty of instances in which people are neglected and they do not receive the care that they need, both in emergency and in long-term chronic condition style care. So the long and short of it is, um, in theory, yes. In practice, not so much. Um, extremely racist and abusive. I, I consider the racism abusive, Carpe. Hot take. I'm, hot take. I know. I'm going to go out on a limb here. You know, I'm not a fan of cancer either. Um, I consider the racism to be abusive. <laughs> it's sort of all, you know. <laughs> um... Let's see. You can't find a name I like. Yeah, short. You're fucked. Yeah, you are. You're fucked. It, it's they're they're hard. They're fucking. They're internment camps. They're fucking concentration camps. They're horrible. We feed them the worst of things. We put them in the least of conditions. We you know give them the least of health care. We fucking treat them like the scum of the earth, and we wonder why our system isn't working. There it is. You, Eminem, Frank Sinatra, etc. Holy shit, man. There's the fucking, there's the account. I, dude, that was some crazy ass shit. Um, I told Will, I were, I, I told Will Alexander that somebody had made a meme account when he came in one of these times based off of that fucking crazy ass fucking writing exercise he did that night. You, Eminem, Frank Sinatra, etc. Dude, that was, that was the craziest fucking thing. Um, so, land to the free, yeah. 
highest per capita and raw raw number imprisoned population on the planet. Land of the free, home of the brave. Absolutely dog shit concept. Um. You need more criminals to keep the machine working, so those prisons are the perfect way to creep more criminals. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 operating as intended. It's not broken. It's not broken. Don't ever think it's broken. It's operating as intended. Don't ever make that mistake. It's like our system's broken. No, it isn't. It is functioning highly efficiently. Yeah, this shit's working. Yeah, it just it, it ain't working for you. That's all. So, anyway, turning volume to Kai in ASMR mode and time to study. Enjoy, Irish Swede. <laughs> Either way, Swede, take care of yourself, my man. Uh, no, if more than one Portlander is in stream, the feds are going to come and tear gas to chat. I mean, Kaiser, you, you, you probably deserve it. You know, you deviant little fuck. You, 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 probably, you probably deserved it. You know you did. Has told me you did. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Marcus, I mean, some companies? Co's. I, I, companies? I mean, some have made the noise opposing release of model prisoners because they'd have to hire more staff. Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah, companies. I mean, some companies have made noise opposing release of model prisoners. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, okay, Ella has left for school. I'll be a bit late. I'm now actually going to enjoy my morning coffee. Peace, says Alex. Um, it sounds gay. <laughs> yeah, it sounds gay. I'm in. Uh, can't find a name. Uh, like you're licking my ear next. Er, that emo was a happy mistake. Yep. Mm hmm. Sure, it was. Sure, it was. Ah, uh, fucking. Um, is there any other shit that... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, so this was... I had talked about this the other day, and I didn't have it. Um, I was talking about this in VC with, um, with, with a few people. And, like, I couldn't find the fucking... I couldn't find the interview... So, like, I, I, what, where I'm going with this is Trump was saying some crazy ass shit. And, uh, I just, I find it fascinating following his mental degradation. He's, it's going weird. It's going weird quickly. He's going Reagan. Like, this is Reagan all over again. Um, so, like, yeah. Former President Donald Trump sat down with the Full Send podcast for nearly an hour. During that conversation, the topic of Ukraine and Russia's invasion came up, which led to this exchange between host Kyle Forgeard, Forgard and the 45th president. Okay? Talking about Ukraine, talking about the Russian invasion. Forgard, Forgeard. What do you see happening next then? Because it seems like the tensions are high. How does this all end? Is this going to be like a long-term thing? How do you see it unfolding? Trump. Well, and I said this a long time ago. If this happens, we're playing right into their hands. Green energy, the windmills, they don't work. They're too expensive. They kill all the birds. They ruin your landscapes. And yet the environmentalists love the windmills. And I've been preaching this for years, the windmills. And I had them way down. But the windmills are the most expensive energy you can have. And they don't work. And by the way, they last a period of 10 years. And by that time, they start rusting and rotting all over the place. Nobody ever takes them down. They just go on to the next piece of prairie or land and destroy that. The windmills. What the fuck? That's not. My grandmother had Alzheimer's dementia. My stepfather is slipping that direction towards dementia. Right? I've seen this shit up close a couple of times now. Something, something tilting at windmills. Yeah. Like, that's not. That's 
that's not normal. I remember Donald Trump from the 80s and 90s. I remember this motherfucker. This is not what he used to sound like. This is, this is, this is not, he's sliding. Like he straight up is. Uh, I had them way down. Now taking bets on Trump have ordered his team to turn the windmills to low. Oh no, Marcus, you know he did. You know he did. You know what that's about. Um, let's see, Lexi. This motherfucker is why when Putin was threatening to nuke everybody, some of us were like, oh, finally. <laughs> um, assuming he was of sound mind even before taking office. No, for two, he wasn't. No, he was already, you could see that there was a decline in vocabulary and grammar uh, uh, scope and scale. It wasn't good. Um... Uh, fucking A. All right, there was somebody here. What, triple six, three, six, six? Uh, you're kind of scared to express yourself. I saw you, like, earlier. You were asking, oh, yeah, yeah, what's the topic, chat? There is no topic. Dude, here's the deal. This is the After Dark Show, triple six. If you're still here, you are actually here. Okay, so here's, here's the deal, right? Hi, my name's Kai. I'm an anarchist, right? We are a highly leftist space, but we're not like most of them. We really don't like the a lot of the fucking tonality of like the hashtag cancel shit, right? We, we, we legitimately want to have the conversation. That's why conversations is right in the stream title, right? But this is the after dark show. This is Tuesdays and Thursdays for me, right? S take a drink, smoke a little weed. I could booze, um, and relax, right? There's a vibe. There's a vibe. So we'll have the conversation. We'll talk about this stuff. If you want to go to the political stuff, we'll go to the political stuff. But there is a vibe to it on Tuesdays and Thursdays, specifically. And so, like, yeah, yeah, we may say some shit you we don't want uh, you don't like. You may say some shit we don't like. But the whole goal is for everybody to just take a fucking chill pill, a beer, or whatever, and fucking try and you know figure it out. Oh, caboose. Oh, Caboose. Thank you for the sub, Caboose. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that does go the other way. Yeah, Gemma is tr correct. Like, we, we like, it, it isn't a safe space by definition, right? We talk about, and we talk about contentious issues that can cause people a lot of trauma and drama and excitement. Um... Oh, no, no, feel free to judge. <laughs> you know, you're a human being. Come on. Come on, man, without judging. Now, like, I'm not going to get deep into fucking what, what we're about tonight, but, you know, yes, I'm an anarchist. Yes, I don't believe in hierarchical systems. Yes, I'm not a fan of capitalism. Um, yes, I think there are better ways to do things, and yes, I have lots of reasons why it's not just some fucking aesthetic for me. Um, I can have these conversations at a high level, but to be perfectly honest, one, I'm slightly inebriated, so I won't be doing that this stream. Come back tomorrow, and I will happily do that. But, and then two, you know, it's a Tuesday, Thursday show. Not going to do it. But welcome, my man. What's your shit about? Like I said, like, you're, you're, you don't have to be afraid to express yourself, right? If you say some hateful shit, like, people are going to probably tap you a little bit. But, like, dude, if you like Trump, say you like Trump, right? If you like, you know, if you fucking look, you know, we can all make fun of each other and have some fun, right? Biden's no fucking better. Again, anarchist. Like, I mean, he's no, he's not worse. He's better in a couple of ways. He's not a fucking fascist. He's just an authoritarian. <laughs> that's, that's all. So is what it is. Uh, Lex, fucking Alex. Um, God damn y'all giving this fucking, this asshole money. Um, thank you. Thank you, Alex for the sub, but God damn it. We're trying to, we're trying to not to, um, yeah. If you're, yes. Like if you say, let's go Brandon, you will actually get people in chat saying, let's go Brandon. Unironically. We're not fucking dude. We're no fans of him either. Like, that's, we just don't like Trump even more. That's all. It's a sliding scale of shit. And as far as for us, it's like, well, Trump was a little bit worse, but Biden's still a statist capitalist prick. We're no fans of this shit. He's got a, uh, a fucking, uh, a vice president who's a goddamn cop, right? Like, 
you, you know, your side dislikes these people for one reason or another. We dislike them for a whole other set of reasons. <laughs> we can have an ethical or moral framework conversation or surrounding that another day. But I mean, at the end of the day, we don't like them. They don't like them. Everybody doesn't like them. So, you know, what's your, what's your deal? Don't be afraid. Let's just say I've done my homework and I don't really support Putin, but I see the reason behind his actions. Oh, you're okay. Okay. Well, come on. Come out and say it, man. Come out and say it. You're, you're worried about that whole like uh, globalist hegemony of the U.S. and NATO encircling Russia scenario, right? And the, the application of the militarized pressure on their borders. And that, that, that's, that's what you're about, right? I, um, you're from Bulgaria. Okay. Right, there's some context there. There's some context there. All right. Uh, that's a goddamn globalists. <laughs> um, here we go. Let's see. Uh, yeah, no, uh, if you know my country, history won't exist without Russia. I mean, perfectly honest, no, I'm not deeply versed in Bulgarian history. Just like you're probably not deeply versed in like the state of Nevada's history, right? Like the truth of the matter is, is there's a lot of fucking data out there and we can't all uh, adopt it. And the particular histories of the various states that have been dissolved and created as a result of European war. I got to tell you, it's pretty much a blind spot for unless we're specifically studying it at the time for most Americans. Like that's we, you know, there's just a shit ton of it. So we sort of leave it. Um, you grew up in England, though, so you see, uh, you've seen all sides. Well, I mean, a little bit of travel and perspective does a does a mind good. So, it, see, you're not you. You didn't say that, like, um, you don't you you straight up said like I'm not like in favor of Putin. Are you familiar with like um like the demographical reasons and the the energy reasons? Like, you do realize that this entire like action wasn't singularly driven by NATO encirclement, right? Like you, you, you get that, right? Like that's not the only factor in play. Let's be adults about this. There's some other shit going on. So like, yeah, exactly. So like, you know, it's not just that. Well, I'm not, I'm going to argue. I mean, you know, there's some crazy shit. I'm a, I'm a, Again, a fucking anarchist, right? Not a fan of the nation state, not a fan of borders, not a fan of globe spanning military presences and shit like that, right? Not not my bag. Like I get that impulse. Um but I mean there's I, I don't I don't really think that it's because of NATO that he's doing this. Not not in that context at least. Right. He needs access to a couple of areas. He needs access to some water and they're facing a demographical collapse in Russia that he has just accelerated. Um, so there's some other shit kicking around. Yeah, the NATO thing is not comforting for him, but he's um. <clears throat> He's a dictator who's looking at the end of his run. And the end runs for dictators are there there that's where you make or break it, right? That's where you end up fucking strung up or you retire in a villa. Right? Like that's the make or break for a dictator. So he's looking down the barrel of some really, really sketchy shit that he has to do as a dictator. And I don't think he did it correctly, but either way. Um, but as an Eastern European growing up with the Western mentality, it can never support war. It comes down to always one reason, USA been involved. I mean, it doesn't always come to down. Triple, triple. How, how, how fucking young are you? To state that it, it, it always comes down to one reason, the USA has been involved. Come on, man. Y'all got so much history and we're, we've barely been involved with like a minute of it. Come on, man. Like seriously, 
these these regional fucking skirmishes and these power brokers and these various nation states and monarchies have fucking been kicking each other's shit in since time immemorial. Come on. I'm not saying we haven't been meddling recently, but holy hyperbole, Batman. I can never support war, but it comes down to always one reason. USA been involved. That's lacking some serious historical context. Uh, don't be so don't be so sure, Triple. We got a couple that lurk and hang out there. Let's see, Dad is fucking. He's like sixty-seven, some shit like that. There's a couple that boss ain't a fucking spring chicken either. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Alex said uh, he's on his final choice split. One path he takes, and he retires to a villa somewhere warm. The other, he dies in a bunker, either his own hand or someone else's. Yeah, no, he's he's headed into the the the, the home stretch territory for dictators. Um. Yeah, let's see. Mm -hmm. What's up, Bad Birdie? Ah, thank you, thank you. Nice to see you as well. Uh, pull, uh, pull up a chair, grab a drink, grab a smoke. It's it's after dark. The Tuesday, Thursday shows are now just straight up fucking vibing. So, is what it is. Hope you've been well, Birdie, though. Um, I'm binary. I'm about the same age as Pat the Money. I grabbed ice cream. Hey, whatever your your intoxicant of choice is. That'll give you a nice little dopamine hit. Right? Uh, Carpe said, I'm getting that killed by his own troops vibe like that one Vietnam movie. Yeah, like I don't I don't I don't know. Um Level, I've been listening to your stuff on YouTube. Some VODs, some segments, me like. Thank you, Level. Yeah, we're putting a little more work into it. It adds a lot of bullshit to my workflow, but you know, got to do it. Got to do it. So, yeah, yeah, there's, like, new shit going up on YouTube. Like, the, the reading segments, uh, conversations are all trimmed now and put into their own segments as well. When there's one-offs, like the Megan Rondini story, I put them in their own one-off. Or, like, telling uh, fucking, uh, what is it, that Matt douchebag, the wa uh, Washington representative, uh, fucking theocratic psychopath. Um, you know, that segment. You know, they all get their own, like, segment, uh, one-off segments and shit. So, yeah, you can look at little bite-sized uh, bite pieces. Um, not have to, like, troll through the stream for, you know, those those elements. And, yeah, dude, yeah, if you haven't listened to the uh, Dr. Professor SC one yet, I mean, his voice is going to make you want to stab yourself in the ear. I, I'm not going to lie. A lot of people really annoyed, annoyed by that dude's voice. Um, but, like totally worth listening to and there's going to be a follow-up on wednesday tomorrow whatever um yeah we're, we're gonna analyze his sources oh yeah level you're gonna love it you're gonna love it because the the, the to be it, the to be continued is gonna be great i've invited him back i i extended an invitation um Oh, Aspen. Um, I mean, these days, again, triple sex. Dude, Edward Bernays pioneered these techniques of mass propagandization, uh, propaganda, uh, propagandization ages ago, like 70 years ago. Like, this is, this is nothing new. This isn't new. It's just highly refined now. Right? It's the same thing. It's just done electronically and automatically in many instances. And to be perfectly honest, people do it to themselves. Facebook, algorithmic driven social media, recommendations like Twitch and YouTube recommend a uh, recommended list. You're being manipulated by that. Understand that. So I mean, Noam Chomsky told us about manufacturing consent 
in totality, basically, how many decades ago now? Right? <clears throat> Bezo switch. Um, yeah, wealth and power has been using media to manipulate and lie to their citizen, uh, citizens for centuries, says Carpe. Like, yeah, straight up. Like, uh, um, oh, well, I mean, Birdie, like, I've, I've, I don't want, I'm trying to get people to wean off the subscriptions. We got better TTV and shit like that. And we also got recommendations on the Discord server for dealing with other stuff. Um, and, um, like, sub on, like, coffee and shit like that if you really want to support. Like, we're trying to just, like, use the service but inject no real money back in as much as we can. Um, so, <laughs> trying to be a net negative on the platform. Like, that's literally kind of, like, where we're trying to head. Um, yeah, there's the sub. Thank, thank you, Che. Like, if you want to do, if you do want to do that, do that. Um... Yeah, that's, that's just, <laughs> uh, what's sad is instead of uh, investing in the evolution of our planet, we invest in weapons to destroy ourselves. Yeah. I mean, that's always been the sort of driver though for triple, uh, triple, uh, for triple six, triple six. Um, right. Like how much did we fucking like we as a species, right? Look back at some of those like historical elements. Dude, we were pouring tons of money in, in weapons and defense and militarization and launching armies across the sea and shit like that, right? We've always done that as human beings. That's always been a fucking gig for us. Granted, under Eisenhower, the uh, creation of the modern military industrial complex, the complex, you're welcome. It is an American creation. Um, is definitely like the, the cocaine to the coca leaf that was human militarization, right? Like it, it's it's definitely a highly refined, far more deadly, far more efficient, if you gather what I mean. Um, so yeah. The seafloor is littered with iron cylinders and balls. Yep. Dude, we've been at this for a long time. None of this is new. That's what that's what always freaks me out when people of like any age like young old it doesn't matter they're like have you seen the crazy shit we're doing now and it's like do you really think that's our first time at that rodeo right like the the tools change sometimes the aesthetics change sometimes but the behavior the patterns of behavior that underlie all of this homie we've been doing this for a long time <laughs> that's that's just how we roll it's maybe we are a self-eliminating species. Maybe we are a stratagem developed by the planetary ecology for the sole purpose of creating manufacturing plastics, long chain hydrocarbon creations, right? Like maybe we are like a microorganism that exudes oxygen or carbon dioxide. Maybe we are intended by this planet to produce a particular amount of plastics and then go away right who knows who the fuck knows but all i do know is that a lot of the stuff that are like people really freaked out about about new behaviors are just behavior patterns we've had for millennia um what do we got what is this why should i care 8,000 U.S. troops to uh, deploy to Siberia. That's, wait, this is like 2016? Talking about 1990... Uh, no, uh, 1918? Yeah. There you go. The American Expeditionary Force in Siberia. Nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun. Why are we here? It's simple. Plastic. Right? Who the fuck knows? Because let's come down and all. Ah, uh, exactly, Red. Um. So yeah, I, I. Gloss, I do like plastic. Um, do plastics are great, just not the way we produce them, right? It's a great creation. It's a great creation. Plastics are great. Um, it's just we're doing it wrong. That's all. Two assholes brought me here without my consent, says Carpe. Yeah, ain't that a bitch? Um, fucking, you know, it's it's a it's a marvelous invention. It's just being incorrectly 
constructed and utilized. That's all. Don't don't blame the the inanimate object for our shortcomings, right? It's like you know, it's, that's weird when people blame inanimate objects for shit. It's like you know, you just realize it's us, right? It's not it's not the plastic. Don't hate plastic. That's weird. It's just a thing. <laughs> it's 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 the human shortcomings. Um. Too much plastic in my blood for my blood, says Aspen. Yeah, I know. Ain't that a bitch? Hey, time. Yeah, hemp oil plastic. Dude, there's so many others. Um, yeah, birdie. We're probably just some bacterial vessels for something greater or something, something. Um, Daniel Woolman. I'm guessing Daniel Woolman is uh, is uh, Will Alexander's alt, based off of what I'm reading. Daniel Woolman has to be Will Alexander. Uh, brothers, I just finished off some 200 migs fresh uh, fresh from the press. Call them Eltons. Go to eltonjohnxtc.com. It's all legal. It's a new synthetic analog of M, similar to meth, but more of euphoric. 27 pops gets you 10. You'll be up in SpaceX in no doubt. Buy them. It's a no-brainer. Yeah, it's super neurotoxic, but who cares, right? Get them now, lads. Um... <laughs> Oh, if that is you, Will Alexander, good work as always. It's bad for you, but buy it. And if you aren't Will Alexander, congratulations. Will Alexander is a high bar to live. Uh, that's a, that's a, that's a, those are big shoes to fill. So if you aren't, and I'm just giving you credit for being Will Alexander, like either way, good job. Um, Karina, aliens are playing Earth like a game. They made the dinosaurs to make fossil fuels so human could make plastics when decayed for thousands of years. Make a crystal. Uh, something, something, something. Scroll by. Uh, make a crystal that the next species will utilize as fuel. Yeah, right. Um, Car carpe, carpe. All the all the stuff is on like um, channel commands. You can use um, like exclamation two holes would get you has without channel points. Just FYI, like a lot of that stuff is just commandable. We don't, there's ways beyond the like channel point system even. Like I've programmed it on this side so you could just use commands too. So <laughs> like, just so you know, my man, just so you know, you never need channel points to accomplish that. <laughs> See, there you go. Yeah. Like, fuck Twitch and their gamification of fucking everything. They go fuck themselves, right? They go fuck themselves. So, yeah. <clears throat> you even called yours game tokens. Yeah, I, I, have, I have Soros bucks. I have Soros bucks. It pisses off the right wingers. They immediately start, you know. Uh, Gemma said, quick bit of Googling and the earliest record I can find for state war warfare is about 2500 BC. Yeah, it feels about right. You know, a couple millennia at least. And if we were doing it in 2500 BC, just written record, degradation of artifacts, that sort of thing, you know we, <coughs> we were doing it before that. We were doing it before that. So, yeah, one way or the other. Um, nope, 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 that one. There you go. Eh, China. <laughs> Stupid as shit. China. So the art of war was 500 BC plus or minus. Yeah. Yeah, so we had like high art and like high level analysis done by like 500 BC for warfare. That still is relevant today. Right, so we'd been doing it for a while. We've been working on this for a while. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, countries like Austria made laws like if you don't get vaccine, you uh, not only can't you work, but you'll get fined five thousand euros. Um, so, I mean, here's the deal, right? Like, I'm not for an authoritarian state, but here's the problem. Is your position triple six? 
anti-authoritarian? Are you against the mandate, right? Or are you against the vaccine itself? Because this is where we diverge. So answer that question for me, man. I'll, we'll, we'll get further into it. Because fuck the state for doing that. Like authoritarian bullshit. I get you. But uh, Giant Fortune, um, Rose, I'm going to have to ask you how big. We talking million or billion? Let's get our units. Let's get our order of magnitude down first. Million or billion? Like single million, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, or billion? Like what? What are we talking? How big? Because they have different plans for different numbers. Uh, okay, so we got all that. Uh, but a boo. Okay, cool. That's all side conversation from before. I'm good with it. Soros type. Billions. Okay, we're in billions. All right, <clears throat> we're in billions. All right, if I suddenly inherited billions, one, I'd probably be dead by the next day. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Like, dude, I'm, I'm not sure there's a lot of people in this world with, that would, what's up, Zartos? Um, fucking, I'm not sure there's a lot of people in this world that want me to have billions of dollars, right? That that's the truth of the matter, right? I've been an anarchist for a lot of years. I've been an agitator for a lot of years. I'm not sure there's a lot of people in this world that would want me to have billions of dollars, but provided I survive, provided I survive, I think you'd last at least a week, Kai, <laughs> give yourself credit, said beast. Um, provided I survive. All right. Immediately, immediately one. Like everybody I've ever like known. Okay. I'm not kidding you. You're all like everybody in community. Who's a regular. You'd all be like taken care of for the rest of your life. You know that, right? Like the billions is an order of magnitude. That is insane. Right. All of my like community members would be instantly taken care of. That would just happen. That just happened. My family, my friends, everybody I've ever known. They'd be bam. You'd, you'd have enough for the rest of your life, or at least enough if you don't go insane and blow it all. You, you'd be fine. You'd survive the, the coming era, right? Two. Um, let's just say a lot of that money would um, be creatively handled by some of the highest paid financial experts you've ever seen. Right, I would make sure that that money gets filtered, refiltered, moved around so I can use it anonymously. Right, I want that money invested in su subsidiaries, subsidiaries of subsidiaries, holding companies and holding companies and trusts. I want that money protected on a level that like only billionaires actually get access to. Right, I know how that shit. Like, I know that it exists and how it op uh, and how it operates. Roughly, immediately the money gets dumped into the, that sort of protection scheme. Next, all right? Now we start talking about making changes, right? First, you need a, uh, you need a base of operations, all right? Yeah, Wayne Enterprises level diversification. Exactly, Carpe. You need a base of operations. The first thing that I'm going to do is employ a fucking team of attorneys to find me a sovereign state that is willing to let me do whatever the fuck I want to do. I want somewhere on this planet that le has legitimacy, not some sketchy libertarian island bullshit. I want access to something that will give me actual legitimacy. I'm trying to buy a nation state. Okay. That's what we're talking about. We're trying, we're talking about some, something, something somewhere. Um, you need a base of operations. That way you have sovereignty to your actions. After you get that done, now you start doing shit. Now is when you start doing shit. Now is when you start setting up a massive umbrella company that is designed to distribute and create mutual aid and dual power structures on a global scale. You forget about m manipulating national elections. It doesn't fucking matter. There's so many forces against you. Now what you're doing is literally spot fixing. Because you can do it. You've got billions, and billions is self-perpetuating. Once it's invested and put it in the put in the correct places, it just keeps making money. It just keeps making money. It just keeps making money. 
And so what you start doing is you start putting a million here and a million there and a million here and a million there, and you get a cascade effect in certain regions. You focus on a regional set. It could be South, it could be Latin America, it could be in the US. Personally, I think it should be in the US because we affect the most change. So like, I think that like, you know, you start targeting these rural communities. You start targeting these like left behind sections of red states that are so poor and so undereducated and so ill-serviced by our system and so taken advantage of and you do everything necessary you give them the tools you bring them into their own project right it's not just going in and building shit it's giving them the tools to build shit it's bringing them in and creating that alinsky style organization only unlike the alinsky style organizations where you have to self-fund and you have to build this power base, you would have basically the secret secret backing of a crazy-ass billionaire. And so, like, it would be as simple as just cutting checks when necessary, right? And so that's when the distributed topology of my, like, my systems thinking starts to come into play. So you're looking at it, you're fo focusing on, say, a regional effect. And if you can uplift a region in a region, Right? Like, if this county all of a sudden starts accelerating way beyond all their others, right? What's going on over there? There's going to be questions. There's going to be, can we get in on that? Because it looks like they're having a really good time over there and it doesn't look like it's dog shit miserable. So, what's happening? And so, you have those downstream effects of people questioning. Right? Yeah. If you give me billions, I'm literally trying to change the world. Yes, but I'm doing it my way rather than the billionaire way. But I also know that you can't just, you know, that's why all those initial steps. So there you go. There's my answer. Um, <clears throat> you start doing the opposite of what Buffett's son is doing, says Carpe. Yeah. Uh, knock on effects. Exactly. You get it. Um, Let's see, blah, 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 blah. Yes, 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 yes. Um, okay, I don't know where that conversation's been going, so I don't know. Um, okay. Uh, do, 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 demonstration Nation. So, Ro yeah, it was Rose that asked. So, Rose. Um... These billionaires we all know of don't seem very joyful. It's because they're fucking miserable. They don't they don't feel that stuff the same way that you and I feel that. Don't you? They don't feel that the same way. They got other shit going on up there. They're not on that same level that we are. It's just the truth. I've I've known a couple like Swede, like we get Swede in here. Dude, they're not they're not the same. They're not the same. They're 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 broken people. Like there, there's pathologies and issues they're not the same as us they really aren't they're really fucked up um in some really callous and cold ways yeah so malignant personalities yeah you have to be exactly aspen aspen that said they kind of have to be broken to get that wealthy no it's 100 percent. they have to be yeah, that sense of superiority and entitlement. Dude, and and um in Carpe, like um in impotence. There's an impotence to it as well. It is hilarious because they are beholden. They're they're everything they do in this world requires systems. It requires an assistant, it requires a manager, it requires their company, it requires a team of attorneys and accountants. Every, their whole world is operated and managed by other people. They're, they're all, if no one listened to what they said to do, functionally, they are no one. There's nothing. There's nothing there. It's, it's, it's a game of shadows and puppets. And so there is an underlying sense of impotence that drives a lot of what they do. This, this power dynamic that they're constantly trying to chase and reinforce within themselves because a lot of them know that really at the end of the day they don't do anything there's not it's not, there's not a whole lot going on there um Gemma said give me five mil and a trans creator comm commune happens uh <laughs> red said give me five million and i'd bring back bionicles <laughs> uh 
Uh, state and its functions are there to protect wealth and power from those who want it. Yeah, they're trapped by their own creations, says Carpe. Yeah, no, it's, it's, they're not, they're not well people uh, in many ways. Um, yep, the acquisitiveness feeds the hole in their souls, or rather, their attempt to feed the void. E exactly, Gemma. Um, okay, so Red said, more realistic. If you suddenly gain 20,000, what would you do with that? I don't know. 20K? 20K is not really anything. I mean, I don't want to sound like a douche, right? But 20K isn't really anything. That's not life-changing money. So 20K, I don't know. Uh. Pay off the IRS and finish most of my current dental work, says Carpe. Um, yeah, I don't have tax issues. Um, I'm just thinking, like, I might just split it in half, like, donate something. And then, yeah, that that's Zartos is probably close. I'd probably give 10, 10, 10 K of it away and I just fucking, um, take the other 10 K and go on vacation with it. Yeah. That feels right. Uh, it's just how I tan up. That's my pale ass. Um, buy a secondhand Nissan Leaf says Che. Um, Zartos, how you doing over there? I mean, you up in Turkey and close to a lot of that shit. How are you doing these days? You still at uni? Yeah, it's that time of year. You should be at uni. Nah, Zartos is the fucking last thing I need. Um, yeah, you, how's that going for you, Zar? Um, <clears throat> triple six. So what are what you're saying is that you need a tool to control the population, so you create religion where people follow the Ten Commandments and fucker the people that don't create the law. Um, I mean... Kind of what went down. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's religion. Religion is the original government. Government is just Latin for uh, cr uh, control of mind. Uh, contro mind control. Latin's inverted technically, but govern is control. Mind is, uh, uh, meant is mind. The whole fucking thing is meant to control your behavior. And religion was the OG of that. The fire show the firework shows are great, says Artes. Lovely. Take Take, uh, yeah, uh, take care of yourself, Sartos. Like, keep your head on a swivel over there. Uh, religion means to bind, so yep, says Mokku. Um, mental governance equals government. Um, religion is man-made, let's just say that. Religion is man-made. Religion is a, is a man-made thing, 100%. Um, Oh, yeah, Che, wouldn't need a car if we had a better public transport system. I've told this before. My buddy Otis, um, we, um, he used to, I mean, he was without a car for a long time. And so, like, um, we mapped it one, we tried it one day. Um, I could go get him and get back to my house. And it took, it took 23 to 29 minutes. We did a few different runs. We, we took, tra we kept track of over a few different times. I picked him up, came back and shit like that. It took him over four hours to get here by bus, right? Never more than a half an hour there and return for me in traffic midtown, right? If Otis hopped the bus from his place to mine, that was four hours. That's the state of the, the, the Las Vegas public transportation system vis-a-vis -vis buses. Yeah, it's it's bad. It's bad. Ah, good on you, Zartos. It's a big difference between Evola and fascism. Evola says religion is the first government, while fascists say government was the first religion. Oh yeah, no, that's that's no, yeah, religion was the first government. That's that's the that's the order of operations on that one. It's not the other way around. <clears throat> um. Ah, Marcus, you fucking you attorney prick. 
the lawyer, the fucking pedant lawyer, fucking couldn't. I could see you, see you fucking twitching. Your your eyes over there twitching, wasn't it, Marcus? You're just like, I can't, I can't, I can't. You tried to let it go too, didn't you? You tried to let it go. There was a moment there where you're like, ah, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Uh, Rose, link me to Scary Low. Dude, Rose, um, are you here? Are you a local or are you just aware of the Lake Mead situation and that? Marcus, I can't stop it. I, I know. I know. I know how your brain works. Fucking, um, yeah, Lake Mead is super low. Dude, it hasn't, it hasn't, it hasn't crossed past its like, what, 2000, uh, the year 2000 mark. It's been 22 years and uh, 22 years and it keeps just dropping lower and lower and lower and lower every year. We, we, you're in, okay, you're in California. Rock on. Yeah, no, it just keeps getting lower and lower and lower. And there's your fucking, we're just all sitting here. Dude, we're going to have to cut you all off, right? Like, that's what that's going to be. Dude, that's going to, we're going to fucking like stop the Colorado River or some shit in Nevada. Because you know Mexico doesn't get any of it anymore, right? Like, on most days, the Colorado River doesn't reach the ocean anymore. That's just not a thing. It's tapped dry by the time it reaches the ocean. So, yeah, there's going to come a day where fucking Nevada just fucking... And we're like, that shit's ours. <laughs> it's fucking... Uh, all right, Karina. Sleep well. Good luck. Uh, I don't think Nestle's got their hands on that yet. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Hang on. Give me one sec. <coughs> um, Okay. All right, cool. I just had to catch up on some stuff. Um, all right, cool. Uh, Utah's already locking down claims. Yeah. No, it's it's actually a thing. You know, California farms drying up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Rose. Uh, Rose. Sorry, Rose. Rose. Um, and yeah, Motko, uh, Motko, um Yeah, Utah is fucking locking down claims. Like, everybody's... Everybody's trying to get their piece. Uh, birdie. Most of them are. Most of them are decayed. It's not like yeah. It, well, the water's not cold enough and not anaerobic enough. Most of those bodies decayed. They're mostly skeletons at the bottom now. <laughs> the ones that popped up due to decomp popped up. The ones that didn't pop up, they ain't coming up. Um. <laughs> the mush that your feet get stuck in that's body a little bit a little bit a little bit you know yeah it's just a part of the ecosystem now exactly beast like, it's just it's just part of the ecosystem um okay it is what it is it is what it is you know uh let's see Oh, um, yeah, y'all caught this, right? Sorry, uh, sorry, I'm gonna fucking bring you down a little bit, but, um, y'all caught this, right? It, because everybody was talking about this stupid, two, apparently some rich guy smacked the shit out of some other rich guy. I don't know. Anyway, so, uh, while everybody was talking about that, um, the U.S. Congress decided they're gonna be stopping the Universal School Meals Program after this school year, which feeds in an additional 10 million kids. Yeah, that that that's that's what they were doing in that news cycle. Just FYI. Yeah. While everybody was talking about fucking smacky smack. That's what Congress was doing. Yeah. They're they're stopping the universal school uh, school meals program. So, you know, <clears throat> uh, 
I mean, triple sex. I mean, a rich dude smacked a rich dude at a billionaire's ball, from what I understand. It's pretty much what happened. I don't know why anybody gives a shit beyond that. So they let the tax credit die, and now they're doing school meals. These people hate children. Yeah, of course they do. That's why I went off on RV, uh, RZ last night. That RZ69 or RZ79 or whoever the fuck he is, that RZ guy that comes through from time to time, talking about fucking how sex ed is like kid abuse. I'm like, you are punching children in the face saying that you're, you're defending children, right? It's shit like this. It's like, think of the children. Yeah, I'm thinking of the children. Why aren't you feeding them? Right? Like, that's... that They do that shit. That's just... That's just their bread and butter at this point. Um... Yeah. This is what it is. Oh, this shit. <laughs> this was funny. Oh, this was funny. Dude, I, I told you. This entire Russian war is fucking... Everything that comes out of it is goddamn hilarious. Here. This is, um... This is the head of the Chechen Republic, uh, Kitarov. Uh, forgive my fucking pronunciation. Um, he's been trying to convince people that he's fighting in Ukraine amongst his, like, his men and that he's some, like, badass warlord leader type. Um, he lied about me being near Kiev um, and when he was already being seen in Chechnya, uh, Chechnya. And here he posted this photo saying that he was in Maripol. Not realizing that that's a Rosneft gas station and that there are no Rosneft gas stations in Maripol. Like, this dude just, like, everything about that Russian war is hilarious. Fuck it. <laughs> like, homie. Um, I think a lot about the obse uh, how obsessed a lot of political figures are about kids and all that projection. Like, those politicians are super anti-gay homophobes that end up getting caught doing gay crimes, says Bad Birdie. Um, well, let's, let's not, let's, okay, gay crimes, <laughs> let's just, let's, let's stomp the gay crimes out right there, right? Like, I'm, I'm sorry, hooking it up, hooking it up in a, like, a bathroom stall or some shit with another dude, like, I get it, it's weird, it's sketchy, but, like, it's in the stall, who gives a shit, right? Um, not a crime, not a crime, victimless crime, victim, victimless uh, offenses aren't crimes, sorry, I'm just, you can't, but I feel you on that, I feel you on that. That, um, yeah, 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 um, I feel you on that one, um, that, like, okay, it was just gay crimes, uh, like, be gay, do crime, got it, um, yeah, no, these motherfuckers always, like, project, um, they always project, we know that, you should, uh, you show any of us, it's just helping a bro out, exactly, Zartos, um, we know that every fucking time, you show me a pastor that's just raving fucking like that the queers are ruining America. These fucking sinners are doing the devil's work. Give it a fucking week and we're going to find this and we're going to find out that this motherfucker's been steady banging rent boys while snorting crystal meth in a sketchy motel uh, bedroom by the fucking highway. That dude, how many times has that played out? How many times has that played out? Dude, that's not even it's a fucking, it's not even a joke at this point. Just dozens upon dozens upon dozens upon dozens upon dozens of these instances with conservatives and fucking p Republican politicians and the fucking, when was the, um, and the, the church, of course, um, dude, it's notorious. Like I've heard this a bunch of times living in Las Vegas, right? I've known a few, I've known a few rent boys in my day. Right, I've known a, a bunch of sex workers, uh, male and female, gay and straight. Um, and when the GOP convention comes to town, when the Republican convention comes to town, dude, the rent boys like flock. All of the gay, the gay male sex workers flock to that location wherever they are. They make bank. Like that's, dude, that's a thing. That's a fucking thing. There's like. There's no way for me to back up this claim. There's no way. There's this is a hundred percent anecdotal. This is a hundred percent secondhand. But I have heard this several times from several gay male or sex workers over the years. That like when the GOP comes to town, you go to that location. You're gonna make bank. Like fly there. The the it will be paid for. Yeah. It's just dude, huge projection. Huge projection. 
You're full of shit. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Gay people these days have more rights than anyone else. Like what, triple six? What, what's those additional rights? There's an onion video about that. We are precious. Uh, what, what are those additional rights? Just give me a, give me a heads up. What are we rocking that nobody, that nobody else gets? I can't wait to hear. I can't wait to hear what my additional rights are. Hey y'all, I'm about to get some additional rights. Like, let me get some additional rights here. Triple six. What's our additional rights? I can't wait. No, yeah, bad, bad, of course. Yeah, sex work is work. And, and sex work can be mutual aid in the post-capitalist economy. Fight me. So anyway. Um, I, triple six, give me loads of examples then. Give me one, man. I'm just asking for one. And, and like, give me something, man. What are my additional rights? I need to know. I need to be exercising these additional rights. What if there's some shit I didn't know? Like, hey, hey, y'all, what if, like, gays have the right to claim an island every third year or some shit like that? Like, if we didn't know about this shit, wouldn't be able to take advantage of it. Right? So, like, I'm, tr I'm trying to get the lowdown here because apparently Triple Six here, um, fucking, he's got the inside track on this. So, like, homie, hook a brother up. Give me an example. What's my additional rights? Gaydar? <laughs> Dude, gay people got some bad gaydar sometimes. <clears throat> gay people can go in straight and gay bars. <laughs> straight people can go in straight and gay bars. It's fucking crazy. <clears throat> Birdie, get your mind out of the gutter. <clears throat> okay, so in the UK, if you apply for a council home and you know it takes years to get, but if you're gay, you'd get it straight away. You got any, like, you got that? Is there, like, proof of that? Is there actually an unfair, you got any evidence? It, it, Alex, 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 just let me, let me do me, let me do me. Right? Triple six. <laughs> I live in the capital of gay people, I know, trust me. What is the capital of gay people? Homie, it's San Francisco. Brighton? Yeah, and how do we get there? Fire Island, my South Beach, Frisco, Castro District. Um Triple Six. Triple Six, do you want to come on the air? Manchester isn't the capital of gay people? Homie, do you know gay people? Manchester in the, you that's not that's not the capital of Gaydom. Um, fucking, I mean, that's not even close. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, the largest, the largest pride parade in the world is New York, followed by Sao Paulo, Brazil, and then Madrid. Not even close. If you know about pride, you know Manchester doesn't even, isn't even mentioned. It's not even even close to the largest pride festival in the world. New York has an attendance of over 5 million people to pride. Is Manchester's pride parade have more than 5 million people in attendance? Is Manchester more than 5 million people even? How big is Manchester's population? I mean, y'all only got like, what, 20, 30 million people on that island anyway. Like, that's fucking... Homie. Half a mil for the city, for the city says Lexi. New York's pride is more than the Manchester population. How is Manchester the capital of gay people? It's 80 million in the UK. Eh, I must have gotten the, 30, the three to an eight. Thank you, Che. Thank you. 
Yes, Madrid is in Europe. Last time I checked. Yes, I, I think I think Spain is technically Europe. I don't know, but yeah, um, Madrid has three and a half million people in attendance for their their pride. Oh yeah, Zartos. Yeah, totally. This guy knows nothing about gay capitals. Who would have guessed? Uh, Viva said, I know more about gay capitals. Uh, this, is, this is why I like this. Jesus, Kvaz. Thank you, Kvaz. Uh, yeah, homie, come on the air. Spain, Spain belongs to the Moors. <laughs> Viva said, and I'm straight. Uh, he knows nothing about the place he supposedly lives. Interesting. Yeah, he said there was four million. You said there's a half million. Let's fact check him. Uh, Manchester City population. The entire region is like 2.8. Like everything in, in, in Manchester is 2.8. Man City is a whole fucking thing. Either way, it's not four. So, like, even if we're we're generous at two point five, uh, Manchester uh, New York's Pride Parade is two times larger in attendance than the entirety of the population of Manchester. Like, so how is this the capital? Like, how is this how is this the capital of Gatem? There's more there's more people attending Pride in New York alone. There's like, there's more gay people in New York than there may be like fucking people in some of your shit cities, frankly. Right? Like, how is that the capital of gaydom? And two, I want to know if you got evidence that gay people get priority housing. Because that seems like that should be some shit that, that, that gets broken, right? Like, we should be talking about that. There's pride in cities other than Manchester, dummy. Come on, man. There's fucking there's there's pride parades all over the UK. It's not just hosted in Manchester. Barry and Sheffield and Peterborough and Milton Keynes and Hampshire and uh, and Barnsley, like er everybody fucking has pride parades, man. It's not hosted in Manchester. Like you're you're slipping here, man. You're slipping. Birdie, I went to Pride in Vegas when I lived there and saw Cindy Lauper. It was rad. There were like 100 people tops. Yeah, I know, right? Beast nomadic boy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's it's stream safe. I just, there was a moment. Um, Berlin. Oh, of course, Berlin. Berlin. Berlin's fucking great. It's crazy as shit. Madrid. London. Barcelona, uh, Amsterdam, Brighton, fucking Brighton, Jesus Christ, Lisbon, there's Manchester, how gloriously gay Manchester is, uh, oh, that's, it was Queer as Folk, hey, Queer as Folk was there, I mean, we all know they've been wanting to do that for years, so they at least have an honorable mention. Prague. Oh, Prague's gorgeous. And Paris. Right? Come on, man. The fucking place is all over. Uh, Brighton in the UK has the biggest percentage of UK gay people living in the, living there. So Brighton's the gay capital of the UK. Yeah, but you clearly don't understand anything about this. Like, Manchester is very gay. That I can confirm. You seem to have a problem with it. And De Ace, thanks for the follow, like, if you're still here. So much so, it's a meme. Um, oh, I don't know, Caboose. Uh, I think you just tag him. So, like, yeah, you seem to have a problem with it. What's your problem with gay people, man? 
I know people in Milton Keynes and even the straight ones are very, very gay to be, to be fair, says Marcus. Um, There's too many gays. <laughs> yeah, this is an amorous. Yeah. Just because you've seen a gay couple once doesn't mean you've seen a pride parade. This guy's are... <laughs> Well, you never been to Alabama, Kaiser. Uh, you seem overly concerned about them. And uh, by the way, I'm still waiting on that. Do you have any article or source whatsoever that, that can, can tell me more? about this <clears throat> corrupt element in your housing, your council housing, uh, uh, a bureaucratic process that is fast tracking gay couple, uh, like gay people. Cause I'd love to read more about it. Do you, do you have, do you have anything? Like I'll even take some crazy right wing, like conspiracy website. Fucking I'll, I'll take any source. You got anything? Um, I just did the ratio of population of gay by population in Manchester. It's about 5%. Does that even meet or exceed the norm? Uh, Ask B over. Um, no, I think that's about, about average. <laughs> Sorry, Tess. Thankfully, we don't have any gay people here, Masala. Um, uh, yeah, um, fucking Turkey has, Turkey has no gay people. Oh, good old Erdogan. Um. Uh, Caboose, just put in what you need to, and I'll, I'll I'll make sure Beast notices. Just Caboose, just type what you need to type, my man. You're fucking hammered, bro. Uh, what we got? What we got? Oh god, Killbot is ar was arguing trans people in India got more rights than straight people. God damn it, you fucking you, some of y'all fucker, fucking amazing. I I'm still waiting on the original source though, Triple Six. I'm, so, I'm just still waiting on that original source. You got anything to like tell me more about that before you move on and move that goalpost and all? Um, so you work in a five star hotel. How's it how's it work being uh, uh being a fucking pet monkey for uh, rich people? It's gotta be soul crushing, man. Five star hotels, dude. Those people are the worst. Um, we had to make a non gender toilet by law for people who don't really know what gender they are. I mean, it's called a unisex bathroom. They, they, they existed. You just had to put in a unisex bathroom. Like that's. Why does that bother you so much? Did you have to pay to put it in? Yeah, the bathroom in your house is unisex. Like, that's, that's the, you know, like, unisex bathrooms are like the default setting for bathrooms, right? Yeah, like, that's, that's, that's the bathroom experience that the majority of humanity has is unisex bathrooms. Yeah, Kaiser, they're just, everybody uses the same bathroom, like the bathroom in your house. Viva. No, mine is a Viva only bathroom. Like, so my question is, why does that bo that bathroom bother you? And there we go. That is what tells me you're not arguing in good faith and you're full of shit, my man. That you just you just showed your hand. Bathroom should be made female, full stop. That's a bullshit argument. You're just fucking with us. You're just fucking around. And that's okay. Good on you. You're having your fun. But I'm not going to take you seriously. Like after a comment like that, right? You're full of it. That's okay. We'll still play with you. We'll still play with you. Not against it. But yeah, like that's, that's the tone now. You know that, right? 
<laughs> for twos. Um, for twos. Listen, I don't like that the, when the boys' poop is mixed with the girl poop. That's sexual anarchy. Anarchy, I tell you. Ah, oh, for twos. So guys, just shit on the ground. Cool, cool, cool. Says Birdie. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Triple six. I bet it doesn't. I bet they don't give a shit. I bet they don't give a shit. I'm going to ignore your disparaging remark about trans people. <clears throat> oh, there it is. There it is. That's amazing. There it is. Wait, 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 wait. There it is. There it is. There it is. Look at this. Look at this. This is amazing. I love this. This is great. Let's just get this right. I'm not anti-gay. I have a lot of good friends who are gay. I, I added the who are gay. I'm just cleaning up his language. Um, I'm not anti-gay. I have a lot of good friends who are gay. <laughs> Look, I can't be racist. I've got a black friend. Oh, I love it. I love it. He said the thing. He said the thing. He literally said the thing, Puka. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, come on. He said, he said the line. He said the line. Like, he literally did it. That's amazing. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm not racist. I voted for Obama. So, Carpet. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> uh. Oh, God, you're doing it, huh? Uh. Yeah, hey, 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 um, fucking triple six. Which, which, which bathroom should this person use? Just out of curiosity, where where would you where would you enforce this person's bathroom habits to go to? Just that, just curious. Be over whichever bathroom they feel comfortable in. Yeah, all right, what a concept. Humanistic. Be over. Um, Aspen. I want to use whatever bathroom this person uses. <laughs> Um, uh, but triple <laughs> the ones in Valhalla, Sertus, triple. <laughs> um, what if this individual didn't have a penis? Oh, that would be amazing, Viva. You're right. We should do that. That would be an amazing fucking meme. Conservatives want this person to go to the female bathroom. Who stands outside to do the genital checking before entering? Birdie, I volunteer for the uh, for the men's restroom. I I will I will sacrifice. I will look at all the, you know, a horrible horrible disgusting male crotches before they go in I, I i will fall on this sword for the good of humanity um um triple six i hate to be the bearer of bad news um but that picture is of buck angel buck angel is a trans man Meaning he was assigned female at birth, but his identity, his gender identity is that of a male now. That person you were looking at at birth is what you would have called female. So what bathroom should that person use? Just out of curiosity. <clears throat> uh, according to the GOP, the decision is made by a board of non-medical professionals who can't be held criminally responsible for what they do.
Yes. Yes, if you would like to do a genital check on Buck, just turn off safe search and um, use your search engine. Because you can check. Those pictures exist. Buck is most assuredly not rocking what I bet fucking triple six would expect. If someone is concerned about what genitalia a person in the bathroom has, this be over. You are a troubled individual, and I'd be more afraid of you than the, than a trans person. But be over. Have you have you considered be over that you are a well-adjusted human being? And they are not. <laughs> Just say you might want to factor that in to the equation, at least. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, so, uh, so, so yeah, um, fucking can we do transphobe exclusive bathrooms? I'm cis, but that penis obsession of transpho- uh, trans really uh, transphobes really makes me uncomfortable. Don't want some bigot sneaking up my shoulder checking if I actually have a penis. I know, right? It is weird. It is weird. Who does the check? Um, do people have gendered bathrooms at home? I'm pretty sure mine is omni-use. Uh, Matku, um, yeah, no, most bathrooms are unisex. Most bathrooms are unisex. I, I am aware of some husband-wife combos where the wife has relegated the husband to another bathroom and she has, like, the master bathroom or something like that. I've seen that situation before. Um, but for the most part, most homebound bathrooms are unisex you're installing a urinal in your bathroom nice birdie nice um well that's amorous amorous that's what we're talking about is a unisex bathroom this is this what this weirdo fucking was on about amorous that i'm in that situation jesus um that's what this weirdo was on about is a unisex bathroom being installed in their five-star hotel which i mean isn't even theirs it just it was like, why does this even matter? Oh, I'm still waiting on that evidence for like um, the council council housing board people giving priority access to uh, gay people to get council housing. I'm still waiting on that, by the way. I'm just just saying, just saying that, that <laughs> you know haven't haven't seen haven't seen that source materialize. <clears throat> Alex said unisex bathrooms in public are safer cause more, more foot traffic equals less likely for anything to happen there's been more instances of lesbians and republican senators attacking women in bathrooms than trans women that is true actually both cases. I don't have any no- first-hand knowledge about the whole unisex causing more foot traffic. Causing, I mean, it obviously causes more foot traffic, but I don't know if that has a corollary to. So I can't speak. But the, le- the, the the like women and Republican senators and shit like that. Yes, yes, yes. That's for sure. My wife needs her time, so she has the master bathroom. But it's not like I'm forbidden to use it at all. This is Ambrose. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Uh, cupcake. The most annoying thing to me about the whole public bathroom discourse is that if people sh- would just build bathrooms to be one person per bathroom, the whole gender problem goes away. Yeah. Cupcake, again, with, like, logic. What are you doing, my man? What are you doing trying to bring that shit up in this house? <clears throat> I can't believe you've hijacked this stream and you've yet to give any sources. Ah, this dude's on the way out. I, I guarantee you. Like, I- he doesn't seem like he's not engaging anymore. Like, ah, what I've seen and experienced these days been gay is fashion and you can't change my view. No, I don't expect to be able to change your view. You seem very dug in into your own intrinsic biases. I, I, I get that. I'm not looking to change your view. I'm looking to investigate them and to prove for other people that you're full of shit. Like, that's all. Right? Like, you're a foil if you understand that English terminology, right? Um... You're, you're just allowing us to express how wrong people who think like this uh, are. And yeah, you're just content. But that's okay. Don't hate. I don't hate you. I mean, you know, you seem to have a little bit of a thing with some parts of the population. It's not healthy. But like, but here's the thing. 
Your extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. This is just how evidentiary and uh, like uh, empirical process, in empirical investigations go, right? You have made a claim that there is a disproportionate, uh, there, there's, there is in fact a, um, a, a slanted, advantaged position by um, the LGBTQ plus community in the UK. And the two examples you have given, you have yet to back up the first one. And the second one is demonstrably moot as a point. And so it's not really an opinion. It's more just the fact that you have yet to even substantiate your claims in any significant or appreciable manner. And so the way scientific investigation goes is that we discount everything you're saying because you are unable to provide any backing for these claims. You have made extraordinary claims that gay people have more rights than everyone else. You have made claims that Manchester is somehow the gay capital of the world when demonstrably it is not. You have said that it is the location for pride in the UK when in fact it is one of many locations of pride in the UK. You have stated that the uh, the council uh, the uh, council estates housing uh, housing boards give priority access to gay people. You have produced no evidence to that. You have made claims that somehow installing unisex bathrooms in public locations is a excess right granted to non-binary individuals and not functional for other reasons. Though the driving impetus or the catalyst to install them may have been recognizing the wishes and the humanity of a marginalized community amongst your population. Um, so yeah, it's, it's sort of, yeah. And Gemma, I agree. I, I, I actually like wholeheartedly agree with that statement. The, the, the difference between us queers and the cishets with respect to our rights is that cishets people rights are just respected out of habit. Non cishets have to work harder to assert theirs. Yeah. I, Yeah. Why is it problematic to have a unisex bathroom in which both urinals and stalls exist simultaneously in public when we already practice this practice in our societies in general? Why is that a problem? Um, backwards and in heels. Backwards and in heels. Exactly, Carpe. For those that understand the reference. <clears throat> oh, so so you're so what you're saying is that gay people can have more rights than straight people and it's not a problem. Wait, so that we would do no no no. Hang on. And this is great. This is great. So we're allowed to have more rights than everybody else and it's it's kosher. It's good. That's an interesting tag. Ta yeah, like, happy. Yeah, exactly. Jebba, I'm happy with this outcome. Never mind. Everybody, everybody, we're getting more rights and it's okay. It's, it's not, they're cool with it, apparently. You know? All right, cool. Yeah, this is, this is a favorable outcome. Never mind. Oh, we've yet to get an explanation of these rights properly, Caboose. Apparently, if you live in the UK, you can um, you can get like council housing faster, and you might get a, access to a unisex bathroom. That's that's the the extent of our rights we've been able to elucidate thus far. It's not much, but you know, it's something. I mean, the housing thing is pretty good. <laughs> Guys, are shit. I have good news for my boyfriend. Ah, uh, nice. Do I get a super Second Amendment or something? Says Beast. Um, woo, Jay, woo! Let's start taking the straights rights away. This <laughs> is uh, Alex said, providing the trans folks don't have any, uh, according to this dumb fuck. Um, uh, <laughs> J 
Gemma, housing isn't so much a right as a comp uh, compensative bias. Uh, Carpe, no more kids. <laughs> Be over. I'm a woman who has been on the earth for over a half a century. And a trans predator has been an issue exactly zero times. And FYI, gay men will still use the same toilet as straight men and boys, so his opinion makes no sense. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, be over. Gay men using the same bathroom as straight men and young boys in public is something that the the community the the heterosexually heteronormative community and christian right has been screaming about for many years that used to be a talking point here's the thing all of the talking points that we're talking about trans people have been done for gay people before that's just the truth of the matter this is all rehashed this is all rehashed gay men in the bathroom with our boys Oh my God, will they be able to resist themselves? You know, it's shit like that. Dude, we've we've been down this road before. All of the talking points that they're using against the trans community has basically been used against the gay community in one form or another. They tweak it, they morph it a little, but we've been down this road before, right? They're just rehashing old material. That's what they do. They're not creative. Um, plus the playbook works, right? If the playbook fucking works, stick with it. Um... I used the same bathrooms I used before I knew I was, wasn't straight, says Carpe. Um, well, I mean, you know, be over. <laughs> Amorous sitting to piss is a sign of submission. We alpha male don't do anything of the sort. Caboose said, oh shit, I sat on a toilet that the gay guy sat on. Ah! Well... Remember when fucking Dave Rubin announced that he was having a fucking kid? There's that, there was that fucking one streamer. I don't fucking, fucking remember who it was, but it was that fucking it was that one dude, fucking some conservative black dude. Um, fucking he literally does on his stream. He's like, "Oh my god, Dave Rubin's gay! I didn't know. I sat down with him and talked to him. I was right there. I shook his hand. Ah, yeah." No, they're really like that. You know that, right? But that's not a meme. That's not a fucking joke. They're actually like that. Dude, that dude was freaking out because he shook a gay dude's hand. He was freaking out because he sat across the table from a gay dude. Dude, these are terrible people. These are terrible people. Like, they're just the worst. Ah, uh, no, Marcus, it wasn't him. Different dude. Is that the guy who did the fuck they ho ass uh, roads rant? Uh, I I don't fuck them uh, fuck them ho ass roads rant. I don't know Carpe. I have no idea. I just saw the clip. I just saw the clip. I, I have no idea. I pay no attention to most of the talking heads, so I don't know. I can't help you. Um, I'm quietly waiting for the day Joe Rogan comes out as a trans man. <laughs> well, Gemma, Gemma. Carpe too, right? Like, here's here's the um, <clears throat> here's the rumor. This allegedly, allegedly, I'm not trying to spread this at all. It's not that I'm trying to get this moved to the wind because I think it's hilarious, right? So the joke has been about like the whole Destiny Lauren Southern thing because she got fucking she like in solidarity with Destiny got her, got a suspension as well and the, the like the 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 joke and the rumor the alleged rumor has been that like Lauren Southern and Destiny are banging behind the scenes here's my version of it right allegedly I heard people are talking. I heard this just in rumors and in the wind, but people are saying, some people are saying that Vosh has been steady banging Tim Pool for two years and that he regularly mushes Tim Pool's face into a fucking pillow and uses that stupid beanie to like yank his head back up. I'm just saying, some people are saying, I've heard people say, that Vosh has been secretly banging Tim Pool for two years. I don't know. But you know. <laughs> Gemma said, you know what? I heard that the other day. <laughs> uh, Marcus said, uh, no, I checked. I Googled it. That was Tommy Sotomayor. Uh <laughs> Marcus, you're allowed to say it. 
Uh, Gemma said, I couldn't say where I heard that, though. Got to protect my sources. Uh, the one that I find more believable, that the Destiny Southern one. Yeah, I mean, you know. Um, fuck it. I, I said when a grown-ass man asks where the water closet is because he's dressed like a woman, I'll send him to the mail toilet. Oh, Jesus. Triple six. Triple six. Triple six. Come on, man. Uh, why won't Vosh vor me? Says Caboose. <laughs> uh, okay, Kvass. What a fucking... Where is it? Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, um... It was up further than that, right? Yeah. All right, give me a sec. Out uh, oh, wrong window entirely. There you go. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. But I dance around in a gay, gay way. I'm not gay. No, no way. Watching me dance will make you gay. <laughs> Spider-Man has made you gay. Um, and yeah, it's this dude. Protecting LGBTQ rights. This is... I uh, didn't act as fans. Dave. There he is. He's a gay man with the wrong opinion. Dave Rubin is gay? <laughs> no! He got a husband? I did not know I was in his presence. I didn't know. I shook his hand. Ah, I sat down with him. Why would y'all tell? Why did y'all tell me before I went on his show? How much of a beta bitch cuck do you have to be? Right? Like, that's, dude, that's some fucking weak energy. That's some weak energy. When you're freaking out that hard... Uh, yeah. Like, dude, homie. Really? Take it down a notch, right? Like, you little drama queen. Yeah, cut it off on stream to show your conviction. Exactly, Carpe. Come on. Man up. Um, but, I mean, that's the hilarity of it. It's like, what's the weird, what's what's the deal with the, the, the hand, right? Like, you ever shake a man's hand? You realize all dudes are fucking like their dominant hand. They're rubbing one out, right? And the majority of the population is right-handed anyway. Like most dudes are rubbing one out. Like you're touching dick all the time. What's what's your deal? You prefer straight dude dick. Is that what you're telling me? So so that dude that we just watched, fucking whatever Sotomayor or whatever his fucking name is, um, he prefers, from what I understand, from what I gather from his video, is that he much prefers to touch straight dick than gay dick. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, so, you know, hey, you do you, homie. People are into different things, you know. Ain't no shame. Um, uh, Cupcake said the problem is when you shake a gay man's hand and then you touch your own. It's like the gay man touching your dick. So you prefer a straight dude touching your dick. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> this is why Purell has rebranded as a homophobe's best friend. Uh, Kaiser said, I like straight dick. Uh, fucking. Hey, Zartos. Zartos said, that's why I just give people a kiss instead of a handshake. Less gay that way. <laughs> See? See? It's that fucking Turkish galaxy brain going on over there. That's why they kiss each other. It's less gay. Kiss your homies goodnight. It's less gay. Um, what kind of dick do you want the man in your porno to have? I fucking birdie said I like cook, crooked dick. Well, depending on how you're hitting it, like you know, an upward or a downward bend is super useful. Not nothing fucking like, eh, right? But you know, a nice cur a nice curve to it can sort you know get some get some areas that need some rubbing. You know, yeah, especially on a man, get that prostate good. Yeah. Katana dick. Yeah, exactly. A little katana dick. I like that, Carpe. I'm going to fucking... I'm going to steal that. Um, how are you making kiss, kissing dudes sound... Like kissing sound less gay? Dude, car, fucking caboose. It's that Turkish logic, right? Just kiss, kiss, your, kiss, your, kiss your homies. It's way less gay than shaking their hand. Uh, good on you, Alex, but how high... How tall... How high? How tall are you? 
Um, keep keep that keep that weight loss in check. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Um, what of a sideways bend? I mean, you can you can make it work. You know, you can make it work, but a sideways bend is rougher to work with. Bro job. Um. <laughs> hello and did, hey Wilada. Hello and did the dude wash hands after rubbing it out? Probably. Facts don't care. I you know I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> uh bruh turks made uh, wrestling and oil not gay i mean it's super gay but <laughs> it's super gay uh oh do we have get away blue pants Yeah, dude, totally not gay. This is just two men competing in sport. Totally not gay. Just this is sport. This is sport. This this it's all this is. <laughs> Super straight. Super fucking straight. Sports. <laughs> oh, super straight. <laughs> uh, are you? Are y'all? Are y'all noticing? Are y'all noticing? <laughs> are y'all noticing? <laughs> <laughs> it's Turkish Anita Anita it's Turkish oil wrestling <laughs> you notice he tried to go under there too right he tried, tried to get under him oh there it goes down the other side there it goes down to the other side oh oh he's got his ass Super straight. Not gay at all. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Again, this is very, very straight. This is, this is, this is heterosexual, right? This fucking this is this is gonna get some of the yeah 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 oil check is a legit tactic Aspen. Um, the black pants are important caboose. My friend was so pissed when I showed her this, and then no one told her before she went to Turkey to say oh. Uh, uh, super amazing. Yes, it is. Yes, it's 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 all. Okay, so here's what's happening. All right, so B Birdie, you're 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 like this has got to be more, <laughs> more to us. Anita. This is a hundred percent a legitimate national sport, and any criticism of it thereof is fucking like straight up a crime against Turkey. Like this is this is this is legit a national sport in Turkey. Like this is a big fucking deal. This isn't this isn't perverted. That's just your your mind doing that. That's all. Um so here's the deal, Birdie. What's going on is that they're using the leverage. So imagine that like okay, so he's he's turning. He's torquing his arm to try and get him, right? Like, so, like, what's actually happening is he shoves his hand all the way down his fucking pant leg, basically, and he, he turns it this way. He's torquing instead. And so, when he does that, it gives him leverage to move the guy with. That's actually what's occurring in that move. Zarto said, yeah, I will personally come to your house and punish you if you make it gay. I have my virgin oil at the ready, so stop. 100%. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. 
Where's Cat when you need him? I know, right? Well, I mean, Birdie, you know, occasionally you can't get a good angle. <laughs> See, 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 you use the you use the pants to move them. You use the pants to move them. Oh, under uh, yes, yes they are. Yes, Birdie, they are. Yeah. And if you don't think I'm not aware, like I've not seen like the, the warm up process for this. Oh yeah, of course it is. So is Turkey the most gay country? I mean they, they have they're in contention. Oh, oh. I mean oh. That was quite the display of sportsmanship there. <clears throat> That's that's most assuredly what that was. These days I'm more envious, Marcus. Dude, I'd love to have that kind of mass. Oh, well, there's this Greco-Roman wrestling geyser, which they often do oiled. Yeah, theirs is a whole different thing. But yeah, it is, they do, they do the gay wrestling too. Yeah. <laughs> they, they literally spend a lot of time like this. Teşekkür ederiz. Şehitlikte buluşmak üzere saygılar, sevgiler efendim. Davullar. Selanik işi dağlı güreş havası istiyorum. Dağlı. Sartos. Sartos. What the fuck are they saying? What is this dude saying? Like what is what is the translation for this? What what what's the commentator actually saying? Do these oil wrestlers get expedited housing? Is this the Turkish gay capital? What toilet do these guys use? Um yeah, Zartos, like what what what's actually being commentated here? Davet ediyorum açılışa. Ayrıca diyor yemek vardır. Sayın Başkanımdan size Teşekkür ederiz. Şehitlikte buluşmak üzere. Saygılar, sevgiler efendim. Davullar. Selanik işi dağlı güreş havası istiyorum. Dağlı. Ayrı. So what you guys are doing? What the fuck was that about? And I love that with it, I mean, it gets super kind of like, right, all right, here. Starts mushing his head down, right? Starts starts mushing his fucking head down, almost gets hand down his pants. Like, it's, it's super gay. It's super fucking gay. Turkish oil wrestling, y'all. For those that didn't know, Turkish oil wrestling was the thing. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Zartos. Thank you for your attempt, though. Uh, Beast, I think I need another cigarette. Um, actually, um, fucking, I, I could use another uh, <clears throat> piece of tobacco. This is an educational stream. Exactly, Anita. It, was that a son? <laughs> Um, 
I don't know if it's a coincidence, but the first professional athlete in Switzerland to come out as gay is a professional Swiss wrestler, says Amaris. Uh, I mean, my one of my true regret, regrets, regrets, regrets in life is the fact that I didn't wrestle in high school. I'm super bummed about that. Looking back, I'm super fucking bummed. Um... Like that, dude. Are you kidding me? Like lycra onesies rolling around, sweaty, teenagey and shit. Like, are you kidding me? And fucking hard ons are just like part and parcel. It would have been so much fun. Oh my god, I missed out. Like, I I feel like somebody screwed me on this one. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Yeah, and then the locker room? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, opportunity 100% missed. Be over. 100%. Oh, no, he's hot, says uh, Marcus. I mean, he's doable. Oh, wrong window entirely. All right, what do we got? Do we have him in, like, other shit? What's this dude's name? Curden Orlick. <gasps> All right, that's a shit picture. All right, yeah, you know what? He's better looking than that fucking picture. That picture is shit. All right, yeah, I'd do the fuck out of him. High school wrestling is something they have teams for, right, guy? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, Gemma, it's a real fucking thing. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I do. Jesus Christ, Amber said the bad thing is, is this happened in 2020. So the first pro athlete out pro athlete here was in 2020. Yes, yeah, Sands Oil. Um. Brett Favre meets Jeremy Renner. You know what? That is actually kind of accurate, Carpe. That really feels right. Yeah, you, you, you nailed that one, Carpe. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, Nita, uh, Nita said when I was in middle school, uh, when I was in middle school, we had to have our teachers talk to us about leaving the wrestlers alone because they were all getting sexually harassed. It was pretty sad, actually. Oh, I would have. Yeah, I would have been a problem. I would have been a problem. Um, oh, OK. Sorry. <laughs> Again. On tobacco, which I'm about to enhance. Hang on. Hey, hey. This, is, this is my bougie ass. This is, this is where this is where it stays. Um, wait, can I see it again? I was thinking more Tom Hardy than Favre. Uh, hold on. I can pop him. There you go. There you go. Unrelated question, is weed illegal in Nevada? <coughs> no, it is not. Not at all. <coughs> in fact, we enjoy recreational cannabis in the state of in the great state of Nevada. Mm. Walrus. He was the first professional out athlete in Switzerland. A guy by the name of Orlick. Um, he came out in 2020. That was the first time a professional athlete came out in Switzerland. But he's a wrestler. That's who that is. That's the context. Um, it looked like if Peyton Manning actually had a brain and was attractive. <laughs> Brutal. Um, What 
Wait, I just saw this. Holy shit, that was some crazy shit. Is he still here? Nah, he left. Holy shit. Dude, I missed that entirely. Dude, that triple six guy said there's a genetical explanation. You don't decide to be gay. You whether born gay or you not. Gay person is someone born with more female hormones than male. It's why I have nothing against it. You know what? He's weird. And he's like, but you know what? At least he's not like fucking, you know, gays are being broken by society or created by society or some conspiracy or like if we fixed you, you know, that sort of thing. At least he, at least he was of the position that like, well, gay people are gay, you know, he didn't seem like he was trying to fix us at least with that one. I'll take it. That's a fucking win in my book. Uh, they do have more rights than straight people. I know, right? We are a privileged Privileged class. Um, hmm. Viva, because he's originally from Bulgaria. He lives in England. He's Bulgarian by trade. <laughs> trade. I just, I just like the idea of being Bulgarian as a trade. It's like being an electrician, right? He's an electrician by trade. He's a Bulgarian by trade. I don't know what that would, what would be a Bulgarian, like Europeans. Yeah, he's a professional Bulgarian. Like Europeans, what would, what would, what would, if, if Bulgarian were a trade, such as carpentry or electric, uh, elect, uh, or electrical work, what would Bulgarian be? Uh, being a Slav by trade. Exactly, Carpe. It's just, there's something amusing about that. Squatting is a skill, it is. Um, he's the town Bulgarian. Um, oh, yeah, be over. Um, approximately 25% of them actually in America. Uh, be over said there are plenty of illiterate people that are native English speakers. Yes, approximately 25% of our population is functionally illiterate. Um, Bulgarian just sounds like a man's man, says upset. Um,. Hey, Caboose, I'm glad you're home safe and sound. Legit answer? I want to say metalwork. I know a lot of Roma communities do a lot of artisanal metalwork still, says Marcus. Hey, you know what? I like it, right? Is it Bulgarian by trade? What is he? He's a metalworker. I like it. It feels right. I'm okay with it. I don't look down on the trades like a lot of fucking people. Dude, I love building shit. I love, I love, the, I love welders. I love metal workers, dude. Machinists, dude. Machinists are crazy. I love all of that. I, I truly do. Um, so yeah, dude, I like that. That's 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 kind of weirdly romantic, in the like classical sense, right? Like you, you know, not what. Hey, they're still here. Yeah, he wasn't in the user list. He's back. Um. Irish, uh, Alex said, uh, Irish travelers are more scrap artists, I guess. Um, so yeah, no, I like that. He's a Bulgarian by trade. Um, Kavas has got a thing for wood. Sure, I can smith, but wood. Uh, the smell, Kavas, the smell. Right, I grew up. I grew up around like that sort of thing. You know, the smell. A lot of pine. A lot of pine in Vermont boss like every if you're doing projects in vermont you're using pine and so yeah i grew up with that smell that scent because we built shit like we had greenhouse and fucking acres and acres of garden and shit like that so you know yeah the smell of freshly sawn pine and like as you're planing it and all that sort of stuff um yeah the, the, the scents and the visceral uh nature of working with uh wood as well and it's moldable. You can you can shave it. You can you know create. It's by hand. Ah, uh, Carpe. Uh, Carpe grew up with a shop full of woodworking tools. My dad owned. He says capitalism has prevented me from having what he did, and I really enjoyed woodworking. That's typically sad, Carpe. That's typically sad. That is that is effectively what our system does to people. Um. Oh yeah, Anita. Um, 
<laughs> Anita, um, I, I can sum that up real fast for you. But yeah, the VODs are always available. Go over to the YouTube channel. I, most people don't use my YouTube channel, but we're starting to like grow it a little bit. We're doing segments and shit like that. And I'm chopping pieces up for YouTube. All of it is there for you, but I can sum it up for you. The fact of the matter is, is that I received an indefinite suspension from Twitch for um, talking about the uh, don't say gay bill in Florida and straight up saying that the uh, the intention behind this is the, uh, that the conservative right in this country wishes harm upon trans and, well, just generally get queer youth. And I pointed out some of the sort of specifics of what that form may take. <clears throat> and I received an indefinite suspension for violent hate speech. All of this was amidst other, a few other people straight up saying some stuff and also catching their own bands. But it seems like in that wave of bands that came around, I was the only one to catch an indefinite suspension. Yes, I got tagged for violent hate speech. Um, US senators are a protected class, yes. <clears throat> yeah, and so I came back fucking both barrels lasted. And that's what that was. That was me coming back. That was like my first day back was straight up, I put it right in the fucking title. Um, that like, fuck these motherfuckers, right? Like that's, yeah. Yeah, that's what that was about. I caught a fucking indefinite suspension. Uh, my fucking appeal must have worked. They didn't say shit. They didn't send me an email. They didn't give me a fucking reason. They just turned this channel back on at 3 a.m. one morning and fucking community members let me know. That was straight up because like somebody, I forget which one of y'all motherfuckers, have the um, the home, your home browser homepage set as my fucking Twitch channel. Fucking rock on you crazy fuck. Um, yeah, straight up sit, fucking put it in the comments at 3 a.m. one day, like a Thursday, that you're back. And so, yeah, it was, that's what that was about. I caught an indefinite suspension for pointing out the downstream ramifications of the don't say gay bill in Florida. That's, that's what happened. And I, I pointed out that like, yeah, they want that to happen. That it was intentional. They want to do that harm. That's what they're looking for. And, um, well, <clears throat> you know, homie caught a, caught a suspension. Uh, so I, I, I earned my street cred as a Twitch politics streamer. No, nah, they didn't say shit. They didn't say shit. They, I never got an email. I never got a notice. I got nothing. It was zealot, says Amorous. Fucking thank you, Amorous. Fucking zealot, you Aussie psychopath. Um, zealot was the one who had the fucking homepage set. It's the channel page. Like, crazy fuck. Um, but yeah, that's how that went down. They didn't say shit. They just unbanned me. Um, and fucked up a whole bunch of settings in the process, too, by the way. If you ever catch a suspension on your Twitch account and you are a streamer, dude, they're going to fuck up a whole bunch of shit on you, probably. Just so you know. You're going to come back and, like, find the place a mess. And I can point out that the only content missing from my, my, uh, my VODs, my streams, um, was that stream. It was that stream. There's other shit that I talked about. We don't need to air that laundry. But the fact, the long and short of it, as far as Twitch is concerned, yeah, that's what it, that's what went down. The only thing that we were talking about during that stream that would have even landed anywhere in the field of that description was the fact that I was pointing out that, yeah, the Republicans want to kill queer kids. What do you want? So... <clears throat> You got a two week for doxing a cop because you said a cop's real name on stream. Homie, I name these cops all the time. Yeah, tw point being, Twitch is sheet. Yeah, that's why the sub message is now, like I'm trying to get people off of the sub train for Twitch and just use coffee. Like, if you wanna fucking subscribe, just use coffee. I know you don't get the, but we've got better Twitch, t better TTV installed and shit like that. Just use it. Fuck these assholes. Um. 
Yeah, cops, like, I don't, I don't, I don't fucking understand that. Why'd you catch a fucking rap for, um, for fucking naming a cop? Was it, was it in an article too? This wasn't like some Twitter shit, right, Anita? This was, this was just straight up in an article. You were talking about some news story or something. Because if you're like reading off of NP, NBC.com or some shit and it's got the fucking cop's name in it, what the fuck? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. That is fair. The Twitch is right wing. Carpe pointing out that, well, to be fair, all capitalist enterprises are right wing. That's just, what do you want? Um, oh, are we still, is that still a thing on the side? Uh, this was back in Portland during the BLM protests and the cops were using numbers rather. Oh yeah. Anita. Okay. I see. Ooh. Yeah. I see. I see what you're doing. I approve. Um, but I see what you're doing. I, I see what they smacked you for. All right. Um, what an American way of thinking. I, which particular thought was such an Americanism. Um, oh, um, here, fucking here. Um, be over. I'll pop, I'll pop the command. Click the link that just came up. Be over and you'll see what coffee is. It's just, it's just a means to subscribe and donate to streamers that's outside the Twitch Amazon sphere and you get a better cut anyway. And it's just, it's just a better thing. You can do membership levels and shit like that. So, um, yeah, anyway, fucking, so 666 is still fucking doing his thing, right? Oh, I mean, say, uh, <laughs> grilled cheese sandies. Uh, uh, at least you tell me where you are basically based on that. Um, I am stoned as fuck. I'm on tobacco for the purposes of Twitch, but that's the truth of the matter is this is the after, this is the after dark show. Right, this is this is just we're all on a vibe. Like, grab a fucking beer, grab a fucking spliff. What's your deal? Um, and go for it. Carpe, an alternative to Patreon? Yes, it is. Um, fucking, um, it is a um, it is an alternative to Patreon. But you know what? I like it better than Patreon. They one, I'm pretty sure it's a better cut. Two, they're way less up in your business. Three, they seem less sketchy, like just in general. Um, the commercials are a bummer, though. Be over. Um, I get that on mobile, uh, especially if you're in a locked operating system like iOS or something like that. Um, those can be a pain in the ass. Um, <clears throat> somebody in chat want to <clears throat> anyway send be over a message. Um, <laughs> Let's see. Uh, can I legally say I'm drunk, says Caboose. J Caboose, you are absolutely hammered, especially for you. You are not a drinker, my man. Uh, so congratulations. I fucking drank, like, uh, for the first time in a long time over the weekend. I got actually, like, it wasn't drunk. I was fucking drunk as Caboose. I was coherent. Uh, <laughs> love you, boo. Um uh, Smoking fat doinks with the Amish, says Walrus. Yes, exactly. Mostly curious about the LGBTQ tag. That's why I swung by. What do you want to know? Um, some would argue I am aggressively gay. Um, I, one of my longest time community members and mods, uh, Kat, has described me as such. That I am aggressively gay. Um, so what, what you curious about? We got a bunch of people in here, non-binary, trans, queer, like just non-conforming across the board. Um, I'm just like your, your box standard, like gay white dude though. Who's just on a tear right now. <clears throat> Would you be able to point to actions that you take that show your support for the community? I mean, probably, but that seems like a really douchey thing to ask somebody right out of the gate, right? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be real for you, right? Like, what's with that question even? <laughs> That's weird. Um, but yeah, no, I mean... That's, that's a weird thing that you just did. 
I don't know. Um, I could say, you know what? Um, like have what butt sex? I could actually say that I think my open degeneracy with all of those uh, degen story time segments. For those of you who have heard them before, being as open and um, ad- admitted uh, with my sexuality and the the f- like kink nature of it, and just the the rawness with which I display my sexuality, like unabashedly. Because it is a part and a part and parcel of me as a human being, and that it shouldn't be the focus, but it should be an element. And just because I sit here and discuss politics, economics, uh, you know, the, uh, theology, um, you know, and all of these topics that I talk about, I still do DGN story time because I think it's important to accept us as like complete human beings, and part of that is our sexuality, but it isn't entirely who we are. So it's not the focus of every moment of the stream. But my willingness to share with just absolute raw nature of my life as a gay man, I think could be one of the like things I'm more actually proud of. I could point to like participating in like I've shaken Penn and Teller's hands because of the fucking AIDS foundation ball that happens here. And you know, when you're going and you're donating and fucking they're, they're the VIPs or, you know, I could talk about fucking like some of the pride shit that I've tried Either way. But I don't think that that... I think that living your truth as a gay man and being able to show that you're a multidimensional entity and that it's not just all about deviant sex, but hey, the deviant sex is cool and it's okay. And it's okay if the straights want to get in on it. It's okay if everybody wants to get in on it, right? I think that advocacy, that style of advocacy that I've chosen to do would probably be my credentials that I would put forth. And since you're new here, you're not aware of DGN story time. You've never seen them. But let's just say I'm brutally honest. Um, so there's the answer to your question that I think is kind of a fucked up question. <laughs> Walrus saying uh, saying rawness while talking about sexuality. Um, Carpe, who knows how to stimulate your parts better than someone with the same parts? Um, Beast, <laughs> brutal. Uh, thank you, Triple Six, for recognizing that. Yeah, gatekeeping is bollocks anyway. Um. It's a weird question. I, 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 I look, I, I'm, I'm going to take you at your, your word. Like, I trust you. Right? Human to human, I trust you. Um, I get that there was no malintent. Um, but as a rhetorician, as an order, uh, like, uh, of my own, you know, I'm pretty, ha- I'm halfway decent with what I do. You can go back and look at some of the past work where I'm not, like, absolutely blitzed at the moment. <clears throat> I'm halfway decent. And I would just counsel that, like, that's a that's a weird question to open with. It's a little weird. Um, but that's okay. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But by as fuck as is my wife in our open relationship. Um, are you, what is your, what is your, uh, what is your gender, I suppose? Or what are your pronouns? That's what I'm after. I was just wondering if, if, you, uh, if you were a, Bisexual male, bisexual female, non-binary, that sort of thing. This was the first question that popped in my head. It was because you said my wife, and I'm like, what kind of partnership is that? But open relationship, more power to you. It's not something I can do. I've got, dude, I've got hangups in that arena. Like, it's, 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 if we're doing this, like, if we're actually doing this, it's us. Homie doesn't share. I was an only child. I never learned how to share properly. <laughs> so, so yeah, that extends that extends into my food. That extends into my my partner. That extends to I, homie does not share. <laughs> Don't touch my food. Um, <laughs> True Rick the man. Thanks for the follow and grilled cheese. Thanks for the follow. Um, by male wife by female open relationship. It was coming in genuinely friendly. Sorry for getting vibes to the contrary. No worries, man. No worries. No worries. Um, is it true what people say the best looking gay guys are gay? I mean, of course. I kind of agree with it. Seen it with my eyes. Says triple six. No, gay dudes. We have more disposable income. We have more time to ourselves. We take better care of ourselves. We have less stressful lifestyles when we implement them properly. 
Like, you know, like there's every bit, there's a mixed bag, but our, our average is better than the cis, uh, the, uh, cis het average. Yeah. Like straight up. If you take the average, um, like just life of like, look at the, look at their income, look at their lifestyle, look at their vacation patterns, look at their, their comfortability and where they are on the economic index. Right. When you take the average cisgendered heterosexual white male in America and you take a, a, uh, a homosexual cisgendered white male in America, we have a better life. Like that's, that's a real thing. Like we have better lives than our straight counterparts. Like when you level the playing field in all of the other areas and you talk to them right now in 20, in the, in from like 19, uh, from 19, from like 2012, 2015 in America to about 2022, it's getting a little tenuous. It's actually better to be a, a gay male in America than it is to be a straight male. There's a lot of bullshit we don't put up with. There's a lot of like allowances made within society for like actually embracing our sexuality. Like, gay, like straight dudes don't get to like claim their straightness the same way that gay dudes do. Like that is like just, we own that shit. Like we got, we got that shit on lock and we enjoy it. We're good at it. We don't have to play games. Like it's, it's pretty fucking ridiculous. Like, yeah, fucking non-binary. I don't know if they're here right now. Uh, fucking non-binary superpowers. Um, fucking straight up has like lamented being a lesbian and this like difficulty hooking up and i like i told this story on fucking on monday this shit that happened over the weekend dude i had a whole thing fall apart it was a mess the next day i had three dudes lined up and i had a guy come over and blow me like that it's super simple to be a gay dude it's super simple it's super fucking simple to be a gay dude this isn't a looks thing. This is just a location and plenty of access. That's it. It's a, it's a population density thing. It doesn't work in rural bumfuck Alabama. But if you're in Vegas, Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, Miami, San Francisco, you know, if you're in any larger metropolitan area in this country, being a gay dude, it's, it's like that. It's super simple. Yeah, there's a lot of bullshit we don't put up with that just makes our lives a lot easier. And yeah, we tend not to have kids. We actually have a lower density of child rearing amongst ourselves. We tend to be dual income, no kids. It's called dinks. That's what economists call us is dinks when that happens. It's two dudes, no in, uh, uh, so dual income, no kids. Are you kidding me? That's, that's how you game this shit. That's how you game this system. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't cut it to be one, be two, right? Just don't, don't fucking feed into it, right? That's how, dude, that's how we got, gay. this is how the gay rights movement happened in this fucking country with the, the end game. Look, this isn't the, 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 but when we got the ball rolling, do you know how this shit actually went down? It's a bunch of fucking rich gay dudes and a bunch of power lesbians in Hollywood. Dude, that's how we made shit happen. We propagandized the shit out of this country. Are you kidding me? Every single bit of fucking like professional grade media fucking basically turned on a dime. Now you start seeing gay people in, in movies and TV. Now you start seeing us as favorable characters. Fucking advertising, magazines, representation like a motherfucker. We just straight took this media empire and basically worked our way up through it and then just wielded it against this society. We beat the fuck out of them with their own machine. It's Saul Linsky, by the way. Mm-hmm. For those of you who are not yet sick of me banging on about Rolls for Radicals, we made the machine live up to its own standards. That's straight up. That's just a Linsky. Make them do their own thing. Oh, shit. 
there's an entire media propagandized element within our society. And if you just get some, just get some influence over it, congratulations. You can convince people of anything. So yeah, like that's dude, that's how we got shit done in this country. It works. Um, Dink. That was the word I got soap in my mouth for in the seventies. Dude, sunrise. What did it mean? Yeah, I'm with B over. What did it what did it what did it mean in the seventies? What did Dink mean back then? That's fucking amazing. And sunrise, where? Where did it mean that? Uh yeah, I mean, it's been talked to death, grilled cheese. It's been talked to death. I'll give you a tip. I'll give you the take that you haven't heard anywhere else. Dude, this war is hilarious. That's dude. Okay, yes, war sucks, right? I'm an anarchist, by the way, girl chase. Like that's that's literally my deal. I hate nation states. I hate borders. I hate the fucking whole hierarchical order. I'm like, and I got reasons. Like it's you know I'm not getting in them now, but like I got philosophical, functional, technical. I got real reasons to like be on the other side of this issue. But at the end of the day, like sit back and think like a comedian and have a, just an objective moment of humor. This is the craziest fucking war. This is hilarious. Dude, the, this is my number one talking point. The Ukrainians have more tanks than they started with. What? That's some crazy shit. This, this is a war in which somebody attacked somebody and the person who got attacked is being armed, basically, by the person who's attacking them. Just some straight-up hilarious Sun Tzu-level shit. There's, that's, this has been ridiculous as just a moment in history. Because, let's face it, we're just all living moment to moment in history. Yeah, my tank now. Exactly, Caboose. Um, it, it, you beast, yeah, this might replace the Winter Wars, my favorite wiki article. I mean, Simo, dude, three Simos, three Simos. I'm convinced three Simos could have basically held them at bay. This is ridiculous. Dude, the level of incompetence. Simo was up against some motherfuckers that knew what they were doing. Dude, Simo would have held these fuckers just at bay forever. It'd just be, he just needs a pile of ammunition at that point. Jesus Christ, he would have put these fuckers in their place. Um, how'd they even get the tanks? <laughs> Tractors, they just w rock up, fucking hook them to the tanks and take the tanks. The fucking supply line, Russia runs, historically Russia runs, runs supply lines via train. They were not prepared for a proper land invasion. So as thus, their supply lines were uh, disrupted, both by the kleptocracy that was occurring in their nation state, as well as their general military incompetence with underestimating and misplanning this general invasion. So what happened was a collapse of their supply line and logistics system. And so many of these vehicles, much of the inventory, came in ill-supplied and there were no supply lines. And the ones that were, were being worked on got fucking bombed out of uh, existence by the Ukrainians. They fucking wiped them out, the few that they tried to set up. And so what inevitably happened is that a lot of fucking tanks and a lot of armored personnel carriers and a lot of artillery pieces, apparently, basically ran out of shit to run it it ran out of like diesel or it ran out of shells and so the troops just abandoned this shit in some instances they turn it over for a reward because ukraine is actually offering rewards right so like they just turn this shit over some of these fucking troops were just turning themselves into the local police at one point it's fucking ridiculous so yeah it's just a lot of fucking farmers rocked up and said it's my tank now Like, that's, that's just how that shit happened. It's fucking hilarious. Dude, they have more tanks than they started with. That's a, that's a punchline. That's a punchline. It's the most ridiculous goddamn war. When the trees start speaking Finnish. <clears throat> Russia ain't winning it. Whether Ukraine's winning it or not, Russia isn't. Russia's not winning this war. Dude, I, I will accept a stalemate argument. 
I will accept a stalemate argument, but Russia is not winning. That's not what a win looks like. Come on. Oh, yeah, they're already, they're withdrawing troops. Dude, this has been a shit show on a global scale. It's been a shit show on a global scale for Russia. Dude, they fucked up so badly. Um, Caboose, at the party I was at, my dad was talking about uh, a train from Ukraine to Moscow in high school during the 70s. Apparently, he had some illegal pictures of Moscow somewhere and partied hard with some Russian black metal salesmen. That's awesome, Caboose. That's awesome. I love that story. That's great. <clears throat> Would all of social media count as media propaganda for you? Like if a person posted a war report video to Reddit, does that count as propaganda automatically? Can I use a video posted to uh, by somebody with a cell phone to the, say, a website, say like Reddit, not even Twitter, Reddit? Is that pro is that media propaganda? <clears throat> because there's plenty of that. There's plenty of that. This is one of the most documented wars in the history of war because of the proliferation of cell phones and this being on mainland Europe. This has been a hugely documented incident. Does that count as media propaganda? Because I'm betting you're scrambling and you're going to say yes. There it is. Yes, every information available to us is propaganda. You are an anti-empiricist. You do not believe in science. You do not believe in data. Congratulations. You are anti-empiricist. You literally are opposed to the scientific method. Congratulations. I, I, I can't help you. I can't help you. I can't help you. There's, there's literally nothing I can say or do. I'm, this is, uh, you have just, pr you have shown me that there is no point in speaking to you. Like quite literally, there's no evidence that I can provide that would not fall under your, your definition of propaganda. Therefore, all information is tainted. There's literally no reason for me to talk to you then. So I'm not going to, um, anyway. Let's see. I just got a delivery update for something. Uh, let me see. 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 Ooh, there's my tracking number. I'm just gonna go over here. Yeah, we're gonna do this on stream. I mean, that that would that ran its course. Oh, good. It's out for delivery. Oh, which one was this? Oh, hey, that'll um, that'll come in handy this weekend. Uh, anyway, yeah, Aspen, I know. I, I really should. I really should stop. Sorry. Sorry. You know, I'm just a dyed-in-the-wool propagandist. <clears throat> yeah, that was um, uh, Amrest. If all information is propaganda, then how do you decide which information to take in? They don't. They're just on. They're just blinded up. Nothing anybody says or does that in this world will matter whatsoever. They're, they're, they, they are a believer. They have faith. <clears throat> That's to be anti-empiricist, to be anti-scientific method, right? Like to, that's, you are religious. Triple six is fundamentally a religious zealot, but has crafted their, to some extent or another, their own worldview. For whatever components influence that, who who are we to say? But they truly believe in it. That is that is faith. This what we are we are dealing with is oh hey Amherst just got there too. That's faith. Yeah no that's the, what we're dealing with is re religious zealotry. That's that's literally what this is. Whether it is Catholic or Buddhist or Taoist or it doesn't matter. It, it's it's his own thing, right? But it is faith. It's belief. There's, there's, it's not informed by data. It's not informed by a scientific method. There seems to be no coherent ethical framework attached to it. So it's religious zealotry at the end of the day. 
which is fine. You can have faith, but you can't argue faith. I mean, this is the conversation. Um, dude, Rickman, I, I'm at heart. I really, I have a soft spot for the Taoists. I really do. I like the Tao. Um, what do you do, right? No, no triple six. What I'm saying is that you have just stated an absolute. Any nuance I have on my side, I can get into. I'm allowed nuance now. Like, I, I was always going to utilize nuance because my position and view is nuanced. But you have stated unequivocally, no. All of the information is tainted by, and is classified as propaganda in your, in your view. Everything I... There's nothing to exchange here then. My position doesn't matter how my position is developed and how it is nuanced and what multifaceted methodology that I may implement to discern and to analyze and further discern and differ, help me differentiate between when I am attempting to be manipulated by a piece of media or not does not matter because your position is that all of it is propaganda and all of it shall should be ignored that it, it all is tainted in point like this is like i can't there's bye zartos thanks for hanging out man i'm glad you got to go to a, a night show the day shows are fucking wacky and there's like way more people here and it's just fucking mean uh because your position is insane because there's nothing to respect there. It's it's anti-science. It's 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 anti. I mean, it's it's anti-enlightenment. It's it's literally opposed to everything that a, a Renaissance great would be opposed to. Da Vinci would have hated that position. Like it's 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 everything that shouldn't be respected in this society. Um. I, I, I think that like, yeah, like that's, that's, that's the position that has led to so much ill in this world F from the crusades and the inquisition and genocide of so many, so many people that, that the confidence to be able to say something so unequivocal like that is slightly terrifying to somebody such as myself who values doubt that values the gray that we live in that it isn't black and white that it isn't that fucking simple that there's more discussion and conversation and rhetorical device to be used and dialectical exchange to engage in, right? I, I, I believe that there's so much more to that conversation than just that unequivocal binary statement that you laid down. And that's where I draw the line is there's no conversation to be had after that. No amount of data, no amount of ev evidence that I provide elucidating a uh, further elucidating or elaborating upon the Ukrainian conflict vis-a-vis -vis video and images and first-hand accounts collected on the ground electronically from that region will ever meet your standard of evidentiary requirements so there is no way for me to ever get past that wall your mind cannot be changed. Your mind cannot be influenced. You have given into faith. You have given into belief. And so there is nothing beyond that than me just pointing this out and, well, making content out of that, that this is what this eternal conflict looks like. Is that you are a true believer and I am a skeptic. And you think you're being skeptical, but you're not. That's this continual misunderstanding amongst 
conspiracy theorists and religious zealots and true blue, blue believers in causes that tend to do some insane things is that they don't doubt they think they're skeptical of society or that they have some greater knowledge or they have this analysis of it that is somehow transcendent, that is piercing the veil. Meanwhile, what they always inevitably have is a binary mode of thinking that lacks nuance, that lacks discussion, that lacks engagement, that lacks evidence, that lacks empirical data. I think there is something wrong with faith. I gotta tell you, there's some things I think, you know what? No, I guess, I guess, you know what? I will track that statement about, I just want to say that like 50 to 75% of the time that human beings utilize the tool or implement the modality of human thought that is faith. I think they're misapplying and misusing that. I think we use faith like a fucking hammer and there's a lot of screws in this world, right? That's the, that's the nuance. I, yeah, there's nothing intrinsically wrong with faith, but in this instance, it's faith in a closed-minded worldview, and that's that's a little, yeah. Uh, you don't have a logical explanation. You, you, you're saying logical as if you think it, it that's not it's not logic driven what is what is your logical explanation for accepting zero input of data from the Ukrainian conflict on the ground by cell phone video capture What, what is the logic behind that? To discount an entire evidence pool. To not, to not work with it. To not attempt to parse it. But to literally discount an entire evidentiary pool. That is the opposite of a logical process. That is the opposite of a scientific methodology. So, you're attempting to... Okay, do it. D do it. When I say logical, I can back it up with not media news, but history, says Triple Six. Do it. Discount all individual cell phone video capture and picture capture and reporting from the ground of Ukraine by the people of Ukraine and the various elements operating thereof that utilize our, our modern technology in the form of cell phones and cellular networks using history. Please, I, I take your time, type what you need to type. I, I, I look forward to seeing this argument. I really do. This is going to be, this is going to be fun. Um... Uh, dude, grilled cheese. I'm on your. I'm on your team with this one. See, I don't. This is where uh, walrus. We're gonna end up in a, a prescriptive, descriptive linguists uh, linguists discussion. I kind of want to make a differentiation because I don't th see it as the same thing. And that's just that's that's a that's then we're just in rhetoric. So, like, just understand, Walrus, that I'm, I'm talking, I'm literally categorizing it unto itself as a separate entity. Like, something like faith in your fellow man wouldn't fall under the same category for me. Like, I, I look at it as a different process entirely. But that's, so, so we understand each other. Like, I get the, the, the good version. I just don't see it as the same thing. But I'm with you. Uh, triple six. I'm still waiting on that that explanation. I, I look. I need you to use history 
to prove, to disprove. I need you to use history to disprove the value of cell phone captured video and uh, picture uh, reporting from Ukraine and discount it as viable evidence of the proceedings thereof. We've already covered this triple six. We covered this ages ago. We talked about the multifaceted reasons and that they accept that there could be outside influence. We talked about this, man. I'm not answering this again. We spent fucking 15 minutes on that shit. About there's a multi-dimensional answer to that, and all you all, all you want to talk about is NATO encircling them. Come on, man. Sure, maybe it's a factor, but it's not the only factor, and you seem to refuse to miss or uh, refuse to accept this. Upset. Oh, Walrus, thanks for the follow. Caboose, good luck. Drink plenty of water. Yeah, come on, man. You're not trying. You're not trying. Um, fuck it, we're doing it again. I mean, for two, that's the real reason. Yeah, because fucking Putin wants to secure his retirement. Um, yeah, I'm fucking, dude, it's the late show, right? It's already 3 a.m. here. I'm good. I've been going for three and a half hours. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go eat. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rage over to Radhom. Um, <laughs> bye Sunrays. Um, yeah, fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm done with fucking doofy McGee here. <laughs> that's, that's what that is. Because I won't give up, he won't give up. So at the end of the day, fucking time to just pull the plug and call it. Uh, we got other shit to do anyway. Oh, God. Well, there's nothing to trim out of this one, so I just need to get this fucking run. Act, ah, grilled cheese, wel uh, welcome. Uh, come come for a day show. 5.30 p.m. Pacific. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Come for a day show. So it's a different experience. Uh, night, Gemma. Night, Kaiser. Night, Alex. Night, Crix. I will catch you all later. Say hi to uh, Radhom for me. I'm going to ditch. <laughs>